Riley's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. Yeah, we are fucking live right there with the overhead shot from oh, fucking nice. Deepu. Hey. Hey. Say hi to the world in perpetuity. Oh, good word. I'm not sure yeah. what it means. We know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hashtag me neither. <laughs> Holy shit, Mike. Wow. Um. Well, wow, what? Yeah, I thought he was just doing panoramic. He's going to run around the room. Do like a panoramic <laughs> shot. It's like, yeah. It's like Tommy Lee's drum set going all over the place. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, what are you doing? Making noise. Stop making fucking noise. There's a show going on. Stop. Sorry. Um, introduce everybody. All righty. We got a small show today. Uh, since to my right, we got Dan St. Germain back the second time of the show. A couple times. I think couple third th- time. For the second third time, time with Bobby. But Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, a couple times, yeah. Then we have returning guest Mike Vecchione. Yes, the wearing Vec. his wrestling championship. Yeah, I was shirt. just coming from them when you texted me on the. I was on the plane. Are you really a champion? No, I went to watch nationals in St. Louis. How was it? Unbel- it was unbelievable. It's the top wrestling in the country. It was yeah, really some guy won four years in a row, right? Yeah, he won four I years. Steve from yeah. Ohio State. Ohio State won the tournament, and this kid Steve won it four years in a row. There's been is like he like two a unbelievable that guy? Unbelievable the way he wrestled. I mean, you know how like, I don't know. At the top of any sport, uh, the guys who are really, really good at it, it doesn't even look like they're giving effort. They're just yeah. like flowing from one thing to another. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys listening to anything? <laughs> no, I'm we saying? are, just, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm just getting, getting really no turned on. Actually. Yeah. I'm, getting... I, I'm, 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 I'm mixing. I'm buttoning, and I'm listening. Dude, I, you're wrestling. I was. I, I'm interested. You guys because... are just giving me dead stares. <laughs> well, I was looking at your wrestler torso. <laughs> <laughs> he was just thinking of like shit to give. So yeah. face, you know when your face goes blank when you're thinking of shitting on someone. You're, you're just like picking the right point. Uh, but I had nothing. <laughs> I, I I didn't have any. I was I was trying to do something about. I, I had a mean one in the can, but I was like it's too uh, mean, so I didn't want to. This say early it. in the show. Yeah, so I, I held back, and then right. uh, and then you called me out on it. But um, <laughs> uh, uh, it's funny. You, uh, I, I mean, I like wrestling, right? But I, I, I don't know if I could go watch it. Is it that interesting? Yeah, no, no, no. For people who are don't haven't done it or aren't fans of it, yeah, it's probably not as interesting. Uh, you were a wrestler back in high school. Yeah, high school. Now, how far did you go with that? I played in states in Florida. I played second, went to the finals, and lost my senior year. And then I wrestled at Penn State for a while. Wow, a year. I wrestled a year, a year and I just took. I was. Out of my league. There's, really? I took beatings. Took beating. I mean, I'm a tough kid, but like, I was just taking beatings, man. Did, now, you did you have the ear pieces on, so you didn't yeah. get cauliflower ear? Yeah. Really? Now, what yeah. is that? What is that from? Them smacking your head? Yeah. Is it it's really super aggressive. It's like they set up, you know, they set up angles in order to attack. In order to do that, they like smack your head or do whatever they got to do. There's a lot of head movement. So to, it's a, it's a lot. It's almost like hitting somebody. Yeah. And so, in, in, in college, not so much in high school. In college, it's very very tough. Very, very. So they'll smack the side of your ear, and it it fucks up your ear. Yeah, if you're not wearing headgear, and it, no it, shit. fluid a- accumulates in there, and then you have to get it drained, which is as painful as it sounds. Ugh. And then it hardens, and then it looks like your ear is like pregnant. So even know. if you drain it, you can't. You it won't go back to normal. Right. It hard. It just like hardens. They drain it, and it hardens. Well, can't they fucking just smash it and then form a, a better ear, <laughs> like at the end of your career, and then let it harden into a good ear? I don't know. A lot of guys wear it like a. <laughs> Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like you're talking about like, if we could put a man on the moon, we could probably get your ears. Well, back what I'm on. saying is, if 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 you if you the way you get cauliflower ears is by hitting it, yeah. it fills up with fluid and then the fluid hardens. Correct? Right. Okay. So, but you, so you're draining it, whatever. So at the end of your career, just take a fucking nice hammer, a flat hammer, and smash your ear on an anvil, and then when it fills up with the fluid, right. as it's hardening kind of form it into an ear like what it was before. Are you using the fluid to make another ear? May, fluid to make uh, the ear that you have but just look better. This is, this the is Bobby, definitely why you're not a doctor. The Bobby Kelly. Yeah. Oh, no, but I am. <laughs> yeah. I knew that when he said anvil. He brought anvil into it. A casino, it. like a scene for casino. <laughs> Have you now? You don't look like you did sports. I wrestled in high school. Did, I did you? My freshman year, and then I dropped out, and then I did cross country. See, I for love like that. Two so, years. so, so you, you, uh, you didn't have the beard back then, though, right? No, I clean was cut. Like, 
Yeah, I was a total pussy. Although I do think that, like, if, it, if any comic, if, like, they became, like, a millionaire, like, a multimillionaire. Yeah. Like, I could totally see them doing the fox catcher thing. You know, like, that kind of insanity. What do you mean? Immediately going into it. Like, just, like, having your own property and, like, hiring, like, a girls' volleyball team to work on it or some shit like Jesus that. <laughs> you know, and just, like, watching the corner, you know? Giving them speeches when mom comes out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, my ultimate goal in comedy is just to become a private detective. It has nothing to do. You know what I mean? Like, that's the shit I think about. Like, oh, maybe if I made enough money in this, I could, like, open a cold case. <laughs> you know, like, I, that's what CSI. I really want to do, actually. <laughs> do uh, like, everyone's like, oh, how we're special. I want to be... I want to be the next prior, and I'm like, man, if I could just find a way to like solve the Zodiac, which probably means I shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> no, dude, I think the same shit. I, I want to make enough money to sell uh, in Aruba. I just want to get a uh, Hawaiian ice machine <laughs> and become the Hawaiian ice guy of the Aruba. funny Hawaiian ice guy. Like, yeah, like, the guy. Like, my, my cups are hats. <laughs> you know what I mean? After, after they're done, they can wear it as a hat? Yeah, yeah, after you're done, you put it on as a hat, and you can goof around. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, because I think when you like start, you're like, I'm going to be the comedian that wins an Oscar. And right. then you do it for 10 years, and you're like, I wonder what it would be like to own property. <laughs> yeah, it's you like, like I mean? everybody else is just Everything kind of changes. Yeah, yeah, everything else changes. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. <laughs> How about, I've been doing it 20 years and thinking that. <laughs> yeah. how, how, how hard is it to get your real estate license? Yeah, right. I think all comics... Did you see Benny? He's a real estate agent, Yeah, but right? he, he actually... He's like a legit guy. Well, he's a legit real estate guy, and he sells high-end properties, yeah. and him and his wife, she actually has her own business, too, uh, where she makes, I think, soaps or something like that, which is actually pretty successful. Mm. Yeah. They're both successful in that, but he, his career just popped off again with Last Comic yeah, Standing. Right. So now so he's torn he's on, again. On so he's right. he's kind of living the dream. You know, you get, he's, he's, he's got... The end of both worlds. He's the end of both worlds. Yeah. That doesn't sound he, good. The, the end, end of both, both worlds? Yeah, you know what I mean. World. Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Yeah. I, w I wish it was the end of your world. <laughs> 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 Fucking the end of both worlds. This podcast world. has been too nice. Hey, they, be <laughs> I know, good. Right? they get the end of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? With the soap and the, the real estate. And then there's the third thing, the comedy. There's the end of three worlds. <laughs> <laughs> they get the <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh -huh. The fuck kind of people around? Hang me. They get the end of both worlds. Hang me. <laughs> 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 I am um, no. I think about that. I've thought about being a private detective because oh, you think it's not that hard. What do you yeah. do? You fucking hang out. Nah, I would. What, what if you run out of clues and then you're like, I just, I don't know. Well, first then of all, I don't think you do clues. It's not your Sherlock. Right. I mean. <laughs> I think it's called evidence. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I found a clue. There's a hair on the rug. I mean, yeah, but it's like that type of stuff, right? Let's rework the facts. I think. Uh, well, do, you get, do you get the money if you don't solve the case? No, what? I think you no. get it. Here's what I think happens. Remember that girl that showed her boobs on here, by the way? Yeah. She worked for a, a private eye for a long time. Uh, who is this? Um, Aaliyah Janine. Aaliyah Janine. I love that you know her name because like her titties. Her yeah. Really oh, yeah. She's, no, she's fucking gorgeous. Yeah. She's just so, she's sexy. Just sexy. Mm -hmm. Oh. And she was a private detective, too, for this guy. They had a show on TV. Remember that show? What was it called? The detective show? I don't know what it was. Yeah. But it was basically a private eye. And he had these hot chicks, and they would go and, you know, get information and, and do surveillance. And someone, hey, I think my wife is fucking banging this dude, or I think my partner's stealing money. And yeah. they would go and, and just, you know, do surveillance and squeeze information out of them and, uh, and then report back to the people with that so they could have a case. It's but not, I, like, it's not, like, you, it's not yeah. like in the TV show where you solve the case. No, but I think it's, that's what most of that private detective ends up being is my wife cheating on me. Is my husband cheating? <laughs> yeah. That's what it ends up being. I mean, there's no like. Uh, but if you they're not money, calling you in to solve a murder. You but know? If you have money, you could. Well, no, do they what have that. You want to do? They like, have that. They could. It's called the FBI. It's just the highest private eye. Right. It's not private. It's federal. But a, a private detective is like uh, in the private so sector. You, so you, so you, sector. You're saying that. I have a criminal justice degree. I think I know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, you do? I, <laughs> <laughs> I know you've got the cap, yeah. but I have the degree. You really so. have the degree. Yeah, I have a criminal justice degree, bro. They just don't give those out. You can't get them on. Not at Penn State. You can't get them online. Get them online. <laughs> now. Well, they should give them out because you, you're not doing anything with it. <laughs> Can you give yours away? You have a criminal state. Yeah, that's, a, that's amazing, Mike. Is it? I think so. Oh, it's amazing because well, I thought it was amazing that you wrestled. 
I thought you moonshine. Played the fucking blues band. Uh, I uh, ever collected the most pigeons. <laughs> one. <laughs> we made our own. <laughs> we made our own bacon in college. Ah, <laughs> uh, like a Brooklyn uh, thing. I think to do. It is weird that you fucking. When did you become this guy? Uh, well, what? I went from like, uh, like, like, like I did sports for a little bit, and then I was like, I'm theater, and then I did drugs, and I feel like that that you know once you start doing that, oh really? Then I was like, yeah. So then I got like into the jam band scene like later on. You play music? Nah, I mean shitty drums and like right. I just got a harmonica. I'm trying to like fucking. You have one on the you now? Loneliest thing? No. Well, in my bag. Yeah, Can you but play I, a no, I, I'm like learning one song. Can you play a little? No. Come like, on. I need the fucking book in front of me. Get the like, book no, out. No, you no, no, no. book. You this know you got the too, book. This okay. is going to be like when Kelly Vestuka did stand-up for you guys. <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> way worse than that. Nothing. <laughs> Listen to me. Nothing without that. Statistically, <laughs> factually, scientifically. <laughs> Nothing. I can't. I, it's too embarrassing. I'll come back. Hello. Give I got a big eye. My, hello. My bum is big. I, I'm going to be back my in New York. Bum. I'm going to have a bum is big. I'm going to be back in June, and I'll do it then, because like, uh, I'll wait you if you have me back. I, I tell then you, I get practice. two months to practice, yeah. say, I, and I'll come on just for two minutes and leave. I'm going to let you off the hook. Yeah, thank you. Because I uh, uh, this weekend, I, I tried learning to play the drums last year. I started, and I've been playing for around a year. Yeah. And this weekend, I got offered. There was a big show. Me, Norton, and Artie Lang mm -hmm. did at the Mafia Theater in Tampa for uh, mm -hmm. Mike Calta's show. It was fucking awesome. And his yeah. band, right after the show, was in the lobby in uh, Pitbull Toddler, uh, and they played. And they were like, "You're coming up. You're doing a song on the drums." And I, I was the same way. I was like, "Dude, I don't fuck because I've never played live. I've never yeah. played, all the drumming I did on I did is like over a track, so it's pretty much lip syncing. Right, right. So that's a little easier. There's no and, audience either. Well, right? well, you understand that people don't know. I I never knew either. The band when the, the what the band hears and what you hear are different because you're in front of the speakers. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when you're on stage with the band. It's 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 a totally different world. It's dead. You really can't hear the singer. You can't hear anything. Plus, they mm. just saw you killed, and then you would just immediately take that away. Well, by it was like being yeah. A oh yeah. People oh, would totally forget about it. Oh, it would have been the fucking talk of the town. Plus, he's the number one <laughs> show on in Tampa. So if I bombed. How happy would he be? Because <laughs> he had video of just me fucking bombing. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's painful. Um, but I was ner dude. I was so nervous. I and I kept can't. I kept telling the guy, I'm not gonna do it. I gotta go. It, I, I at one point I went. It's too loud in here. Like I was an old Jewish lady. <laughs> it's loud. I can't hear. And the guy, uh, uh. Tony Burton, super agent Tony Burton, um, was like, "You'll go." I, I, I was like, "Dude, I'm out. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done." And uh, and then they were like, all right, fucking Robert Kelly. And I had to go on stage. You did it? Dude, my heart fucking sank. And I went on stage, and we played uh, ACDC Highway to Hell. Yeah. I couldn't hear. How bad was it? Was it good? It was great. Bad? I did yeah? great. <laughs> it was great. But it's a song. You know, it's the easiest song in the fucking world. Yeah. Right. It's song. still fucking yeah. impressive. Um, really impressive. But I was fucking, I fucked up a couple times. On the groove. I right. saw the lead singer laugh at one point. Because they're like, bow now. Now. <laughs> you, know I mean? you got to catch up. How many yeah. people were there? It was, uh, the, the show was thousands, but the, the, the wow. band after was a few hundred. Oh, I mean, it was pretty packed up. There was a lot of people. The funniest thing in the world, though, is after yeah. the show, every, I was talking about this on ONA today. Such a different world. After the show, all the people coming up, hey, this is my boyfriend. Me and my boyfriend have been fans for a while. Can we get a picture? Me and my boyfriend love you yeah. after playing drums. As soon as I got off, hey, I'm Megan. <laughs> oh my God, really? Who's the Dude. boyfriend? Wow. Dude. It's the band thing. You can Musicians. be a mediocre musician yeah. and just crush pussy and add fat. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Right. But as Dude. soon as, like, comedian, it doesn't, people are like, oh, you must get laid in the road. I'm like, Dude, it's only couples yeah, that come. Yeah. No single yeah. lady comes to the comedy, to comedy show. Yeah. Yeah, unless you're like fucking Unless Chris they do Leo a bachelorette party yeah. and they fucking you know? suck. And real wild chicks are not coming to see comedy. Well, not They're coming not to see to our comedy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, fucking Dane Cook. That's true. Dane Cook, Dalia. Yeah, that's true. I would say, uh, who else? I would say, uh, who I think else? those are it. <laughs> Pauly Shore. Yeah. If you go Pauly to the store, Shore. Pauly Shore, it's surprising. Yeah, there's certain guys who like uh, tr yeah. attract... Single box. Nothing about my act says fuck me. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's always like I'm a fat piece of shit. Nothing I'm a drunk. You I'm desperate. I'm so I'm desperate. Hey, listen, I got nice uh -huh. knees. You take the shirt uh -huh. off. There's something going on. 
I, yeah, I, my whole act is de deterring young hot chicks to yeah. even come to my show. You have a 10 minute fart joke. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I talk about like, you know, a 10 minute dead fart. toenail. Ah. Fucking, <laughs> just awful. It's literally like you want nothing to do with this. There's only yeah. so many Florence Nightingale types that want to show up to like help. Yeah. Okay, where's the thing? It's oh, on the oh, floor. I can't right. bend down and get yeah, it right now. So. Throw it to me. <laughs> or it's not get the help. <laughs> Let me try to is save there, it. She's what trying is this, to help. Bomb uh, uh, yeah, it's the bomb. That's the bomb bandana right there. <laughs> just so, just so we know who had the last yeah. stinker. Well, who's the? What's the hardest somebody's bombed on the show? Oh man, where there's like a joke that didn't work, like a whole thing, or or Probably, just a guest. Yeah. Well, in Will can't speak English, so yeah, but that's not a bomb. It's actually the best thing that's ever yeah. happened to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Him trying to say Lou Grammets, Lou, you know the Jewish disease, Lou Grammets, <laughs> <laughs> Lou Garrett, uh, who the fuck, uh, Lou Grammets? The, it's a Jew disease. <laughs> he, thought, he, he thought Hitler made it up, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was. Fucking nerve wracking. Nerve wracking yeah. to learn an instrument and then play it live is fucking d ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's not. Doesn't sound fun at all. No, it. But after, it's the fucking best thing in the world. It was so. So there was like women coming up to you right after that. As soon as I, I sat down, I was all because I threw my drumsticks out, and then some chick came up. Can you sign this? Oh like, my god. I was like, what? What did? And then so I sat more down. More women came up to you for that than filming like an hour special. Oh, yeah, my wife was at my hour special, too. So, right. Yeah, my hour special, just being a fucking pathetic, fat, <laughs> old dude. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, there was no girls at my special. Nothing. Yeah, there were. Yeah, there, were. Uh, there was a couple girls. Yeah, but then, couples. But were, yeah, yeah, there were couples. couples yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, there was a small window for me. <laughs> yeah. I had a small window where, you know, I had... Like when I was working the cellar, when I was becoming right. an official headliner, but I was middling a lot and working. Yeah. We were just in the, I was in the city more than I was on the road. You know? Right, right. And uh, I, 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 I was, oh, I could get a lot of pussy at the cellar. I mean, I remember I had so much box at the cellar. I might walk up yeah, stage Yeah, I mean, one that's night. the place mm -hmm. everybody just gets laid, huh? Yeah, man, and the Boston Comedy Club, too, man. Yeah, Back then, I would really. just, yeah, chicks would show up, and I would just try to crush it just so I'd get some box. Yeah. Oh, I did it, a teacher from Brooklyn. I remember that girl. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, was she that? was, oh, fucking long, curly hair, beautiful body, total fucking, you know, worked with kids during the day. Uh, why did you marry her? Fucking, uh, just taking it from me at night. Oh, I always funny. made her come in the city, too. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it so taking it from the kids during the day, taking it from me at night. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well-rounded educator. And I, t I, would, I would go to these girls once. Yeah. I'd go to your house once, and then that's it. You had to come in the city. Uh, I fucking refused to date a chick in Staten Island. I was like, I'm not yeah. taking a boat. Yeah, no. Who could not, do that? I'm not, that. I'm not doing a captain to fucking go get pussy. No. Um, I, well, you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah. You have Jersey. a girl? Yeah, I haven't Jersey. gotten laid in like two months. Are you crazy? Yeah, we well, talked on the phone for a while. I thought you were doing good. Wait, I, had a, I had a moment. Phone we're sex? friends outside of this, bro. I, yeah. I said that to let you guys know. <laughs> yeah. I had a moment, but it was in January. I had like three in like two weeks, then all of a sudden it just ended. You, you, had, had, a you had three chicks? In like two weeks. Getting yeah. laid? Yeah. Well, two out of three. And the other one, you know, had, you know. Hand job? Yeah, well, you know. Blow job. job. Yeah. She gave you a but blow then job. it just stopped. Yeah, for just two months I've been on a cold streak. You know? It's weird. It does. It when it rains, it pours with pussy. I remember back in the day, even at my hottest, I would fucking still. There would be times where I got nothing, and yeah. I just yeah. didn't get it. I'm right. like, what the fuck am I doing? Well, also you don't drink, which is like thirty times harder. Well, so I used to like yeah. pretend yeah. to be so interested. Much you know, are you time. now? Yeah, I'm not drinking, okay. so it's the same shit. I right. used to take them to coffee shops. That was yeah. my thing. I would take them to like French roast up the street, yeah. and I had little spots around here that I'd take them to, and we'd uh, after the shows, always after shows. Wait. Oh late. yeah, you gotta wait. Sure, make sure they you one kill. One o'clock, two thirty in the morning. Right. Yeah, but what do they want to drink? They, nope. They no. they would no because I I go through my whole spiel about being a recovering, yeah. and, and they thought it was great. And no, oh, that's I I love that. And I get them a cup of coffee. Maybe we split a dessert. It was kind of romantic. And then mm -hmm. I'd fucking make them suck my dick in That's a vestibule great. in front of their apartment. <laughs> I'm on the step where you suck my dick during the vet. Okay. <laughs> Tighten this up. Is that what I do? Yeah, I, spent, twice, I was in Toronto up? this weekend, and there was like two nights in a row where I'm like, wasted my two nights like hanging out with some girl that like nothing happened. Nothing. Really. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It was was like, she a comedian? 
No. Oh. If it was a comedian, it would have been fine. Uh, you know what I mean? But like, I was like at a ba- at a bar. We went to a bar, and then she's like, oh, "You don't drink, so I'm gonna get blackout drunk. Do you want to just hang out tomorrow night?" And I was like, "All right, sure." And then we like did, and then nothing happened again. Cause I think she was like too hungover. Right. And her ex boyfriend came, and they started like hanging out in front Ugh. of me. It was like the worst. But it just says about me, and that's why I'm like trying to get off like pussy in general. That like I was willing to take that emotional shit. The next night. I was able the next night just because she was hot to be like, hey, let's hang out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, are we, you fucking kidding me? Yeah. What? Where's my fucking Pri- yeah. pride? pride? Where's my like, yeah. character? Yeah. I'm not, you know. Well, but dude, because there's a chance. You're gambling. You're gambling. Yeah. It's gambling. It's just like, you know, look, I know I'm not going to win, but I'm going to put another 20 on 17 black because right. it hasn't come up in fucking 10 times. Uh, yeah, I said before, I should get like a MacArthur grant for what I've done for pussy. It's been like yeah. unfucking believable. We. But th- and the times I've humiliated myself in stand up are far less degrading than right. what I've done to try to get pussy. I get that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stand up, yeah. it's like, oh, I bombed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't spend part four of it. hours like That's part of it. pretending I've, to be in a fish. Or I've something. done so much bullshit yeah. for pussy. It just and it, it's weird because I remember ugh, I remember driving a girl like two hours somewhere and just just fucking myself. Right. Just that she, I right. wanted her to suck my dick. And then she did sucked she? my, yes, of course she did. Right. Thank God. But if she didn't, it would have been a fucking, what a shit ride home. I've had yeah. those ride homes where you spend hours with some chick listening to her hopes and dreams. And then at the end of it, she's like, all right, I'm going to go. Or I don't feel comfortable. And you're like, all right, take it easy. And I mean, you just got to. Then you go to a fucking parlor or some shit. That's yeah, but that, that's how the sex addiction starts. That's Oh, yeah. Because yeah. then you go to, you got to go get, you feel like you have to go get released. Right. You have to go have somebody touch your dick. Yeah. So now you got to get a whore. Hopefully there's yeah. a fucking some big girl you know that you got to fuck <laughs> on the line. But don't you find that there's some guys who are just like, they're just dialed into that? Like, they're not experiencing the things that you're talking about. There's just a certain brand of guys that just gets chick. They're just dialed into them a certain way. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they're, they're able to they're pull them. They're handsome. No, they're <laughs> famous. Well, they're able to Rich. pull them even if they're not. You know what I mean? They're able to pull them. And even if they're not able to pull them, they just go to the next thing. They don't even, there's none of this what you're saying. There's no stumbling. Yeah. There's no, they just go to the next thing. Well, because I don't think that they're like, because I, I, this is why I think I have a problem. My self-esteem is so wrapped up into that. Right. You know? But then it's like, all right, well, then I wasn't writing bits today. I was too busy thinking about fucking, you know, fucking the new girl. Right, right. Yeah, but I, I, but I, I really think that those guys invest a lot of time in a box then as opposed to other things. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah like well, those, life, well right? those guys will go conversation. Yeah. For, they'll talk at the three in the morning yep. on on uh, Tinder or whatever. They'll have like an uh, an hour conversation at three in the morning. Whereas I think us, I would just be like, I'm not, I'm not I'm doing out. that. I'm yeah, out. I'm not yeah. doing that. Three, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping, dude. I'm not really going to bed. I'm not doing that. Really there are some people, yeah, and 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 uh, there's other people. Like I'm going to my friend's wedding on Friday. He was like, you know, he was in a six year relationship. And then it ended because uh, he found like he found some fucked up. Sh- you know, she was like kind of cheating. I don't know. But uh, and then like a year later, <laughs> <laughs> I he grazed over the best part. Uh, yeah. uh, well, you know, it was uh, like you know, same bouncing. text guy from work. You know, same old bullshit. He found a cockpit. I love it. I love you, fan. He's in the chat room, by the way. Yeah, he's in the chat room. Hey, how are you? She found he found a cockpit and it wasn't his cock. Yeah, it wasn't. It was basically like keep, that. You keep looking for black. that freckle, but it's not there. This could be mine. Yeah, but then he just he didn't like date or fuck anyone for a year and then he met his new wife and i was like i don't know if that's the right like it's just two different ways to do it. Yeah. like if i get through a thing i'm like fuck it i'm gonna fuck my way out of this depression and i don't know if that's healthy either. no that's not healthy yeah. that's um when you're depression uh, this is what i found when you're depressed and you have those times and this is the hardest thing to do just to sit there and feel it feel it. and not cover it with drugs or alcohol you... or pussy just okay. sit there food. and fucking sit in it food oh. it's another day just sit there and sit in it it's the hardest fucking thing i to remember do. right after your breakup you did our podcast yeah we were just fucking in it just fucking in it yeah because it, it, it's it's a form of torture though it's a form of sacrifice it's when people give shit up for lent you know though they flog themselves it's it they're doing it for the better good and it's really hard to be depressed because you first of all you shouldn't just sit in it you should talk to somebody about it so i agree with that you should deal with it and not not uh not use act like, out not act out on right, it right. but you should talk to your friends yeah. don't you just talk, sit yeah. in a fucking corner and no, you know you're right talking about but i'm talking about like at night after all that shit's died down you're after your sets yeah you know what i mean you have the choice to like go out get drunk get yeah. put do smoke do whatever or you can just go 
to your room and fucking and turn the lights off and try to go to sleep. <laughs> just and if you cry. can't sleep, just, imagine, just sit in it. Yeah, if you need to cry, you need to cry. Just like, imagine you all in your the room, pain, man. Like when just deal like with a it. dead cops. I mean, if wife's looking at his dead, like it's like lethal weapon. You're looking at her picture. You're doing blow off the picture, just like the, the lights his, hanging back. Yeah, there's the gun in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, <pull> the <laughs> yeah. I, I think that your room has seen some really dark I moments, know. Becky. I, I live in a house on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you. This is off now. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a good error. I, I think I redeemed myself. <laughs> I, I don't think you can take it off, but I, I understand what you said. That was, that was bumming me out right there. I was, just, I was <laughs> going into depression. That had a lot of effect on me. Yeah. It's like, you're not funny. It's like, oh, fuck. I, but there's nothing better than when you're banging. When you got... When you got when you're single and you're banging chick after chick after yeah. chick, there's nothing better for your self-esteem or just life in general when you're just fucking. Yeah. I, m I remember when I when I lived in New York, I remember I was fucking a chick two doors down. I, was, great. I had a chick come in from Brooklyn. I was fucking her. I had a chick from the Bronx. I was fucking her. I remember this chick I was banging. She was f Japanese, Italian. I was like, that actually doesn't sound like a good combo. No, that's a great combo. Oh, yeah. I great disagree. Combo. Oh, those yeah. Sicilian Japanese? Are you oh, fucking out of God. your mind? Big fucking mushy tits, oh. real titties, <laughs> real titties. Mushy is not my favorite word, but go ahead. Nice little ass. <laughs> yeah, <it's just> <laughs> fucked up face. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I used to. I used to park over by NYU over there, and I used to go because you know, I go over there and start making out with them and f just finger pop them right there. And, oh. Oh, it was just dirty. Just fucking <laughs> shit I would never do now to my wife. You know what I mean? I'm never I'm not gonna finger pop my wife at a park. Of NYU yeah. dorm. <laughs> uh, no, blow me on the stairs to the cellar as <laughs> fucking Keith brings me up. Yeah, ready? Has that ever happened? Robert <laughs> Kelly. Have you ever gotten blown on the stairs? Fuck I've, you know how many times I got head right here in the cellar? Really? Yeah. There's a Where? Se there's a secret door downstairs. If you go down if you come to the down this Anybody yeah. listening, if you ever come to the cellar, you come down the first flight of stairs to the cellar, and you take a right. Mm -hmm. Right to the right, there's a chain. And on the end of the chain, there's a key. And that key goes in that door. Nobody sees it. Nobody knows it's there. And if you open that door, there's like a little uh, room with uh, pipes and whatever is in there, right? There's so much of my DNA in that fucking oh. room. <laughs> I used to go in there. Those all... poor girls. Well, he... <laughs> it's funny that I had so much play that I got a girl to go into a fucking dark room yeah how long uh, after you meeting them did you get them go in the room um a couple days maybe a oh, day okay it wasn't like that night the night of the show and then i've I, I, i've done that though i've wa i walked off stage one night chick was in the hallway and i just walked off and walked up to her and just started making out with her and then went back like, to her apartment talk to and her fucked the that? shit out of her. Never, I don't even know her name. I didn't know who she was. Wow. wow. She was just like, you know when the, you see somebody watching you, like they're just like a net. And I was having like a really great set. Yeah. And I just walked off. I was like, what's up? And I just grabbed her and started making out with her. Oh my God. And I took her hand and we went back to her apartment and I fucked the shit out of her. That's great. Yeah, she actually showed up like a month ago. Uh, oh, wow. Really? I think Did she, she recognized oh, you? She, she came to my special. <laughs> what oh, weird. Oh, my God. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It was crazy. It's weird. I mean, shit like that. But I love. I'm so. Gl I regret. I, when I was doing it, I felt. I don't know if it was Catholic guilt or whatever. I felt like, oh, I'm being a, pe a pig and a misogynistic asshole. Right. And I, I'm, I'm, you know, and I, I used to hate girl comics when they would like talk about those guys, and I was like, oh shit, I'm that guy, and right. I don't. I, I, I never felt like a bad person inside. Yeah. But my actions were so horrific. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but then I was, I'm so glad I did it. Because yeah, yeah, now yeah. I'm a fucking, I am that guy. Right. I have a wife. I have a yeah, but you have yeah. no regrets, though. No yeah, regrets. That's why you don't want to be like 50 and right. like, oh, I should have fucking did that. Yeah, yeah, then you rape and kill. Yeah. 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 A, a bunch of my, I mean, well, no. bunch of my friends. As long as you're not well, lying no. to them, Like, my fine. friends are like 27, 28 now. They're getting married. They only have dated this chick since college. Yeah, like, yeah. You haven't fucking done anything. anything. It's like yeah, you're going to regret yeah. yourself at 50. Yeah. Now nah, that's good you get that out of your system. Oh, yeah, dude. I used to have this 18-year-old. I mean, literally just. I had Shit, to we're wait. Getting younger. I met her when she was 17. <laughs> I waited. I waited. It was like Ryan Reynolds in The Waiting. I waited <laughs> two <laughs> weeks. <laughs> I had to wait two weeks to fuck her, right? Uh, and yeah, I, she I mean, used to come to my house and wash my asshole as I took a shower. She'd be outside <laughs> oh. of the tub. 
I'd be inside, and she'd like I'd, I'd have to do like I put my hands up like I'm getting searched by cops, and she'd scrub my balls and asshole from behind, Ugh. and then fucking wash it out, and then eat my fucking asshole out, what? and take my dick from the front and milk me, like suck my dick from behind. She must have been full Japanese. No, <laughs> <laughs> so that was a different one. That was a different one. Yeah, I met she some girl at a Starbucks who was like seven. Who was like a knockout? And she looked like twenty-two. She was seventeen, mm -hmm. and I just walked away. But maybe, maybe you should have done the wait two weeks thing. But then I felt weird. Like I can't get her now. This is like rape if I get her number. So I should just like. No, so hopefully she comes back when I'm eighteen. You should just get wait. No, you guys could bang at seventeen in New York. Yeah, that's the legal age. Yeah. California is that? No, well, here, it's New York is seventeen, isn't it? Like the sex I had in my twenties, my my tw my late twenties, early thirties was fucking ridiculous, just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I I mean, comedy got me a lot of pussy. It probably held me back a lot too, though, because I was doing it to be a rock star, right? To have those benefits instead of, you know, I remember there was a point where I was like, I, I used to sweat every time I was on stage because I'd run around like a fucking lunatic. <laughs> I used to just, wow, who's wow. <laughs> I mean, I'd walk off stage <laughs> fucking sopping wet. Yeah. And I remember I, there was a point where well, I remember my hair went and I started shaving my head. And I looked in the mirror. I go, I'm not going to be able to run around. <laughs> I think it was my third fat. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to run like this. Uh. So I better, like, start telling different jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Because, yeah, man, it's like... I mean, back in the day, man, pussy is such... I mean, I think comics do get pussy, but not like band. Not like rock guys. Rock guys... But they don't get approached like that, what you were saying. I think we have to work yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, Right, yeah. It's, they're on stage, they're creating music. It's just a whole yeah. different atmosphere. Right. I know a buddy of mine, he was fucking five foot two, but he got the most pussy in college. He could play guitar. Yeah. He could play guitar, he played drums, and they had a talent thing in my school. He went up and fucking just... What, what song do you guys want to hear? Any, anything they wanted, he played on his guitar, and he fucking smashed the hottest chick that night. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. That was a good story. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we should have helped him with that. We, I mean, that's how the conversation <laughs> went. Yeah. Everybody just shut, shut down. down. <laughs> shut down. We, we literally all took it a break. It was kind of like Mike's story. <laughs> just be quiet. Uh, we just took a break. We were like, all right, let's go. We'll have this one. I'm going to take a couple of seconds, <laughs> get a breather, see where my brain's at. <laughs> 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 uh, that was your moment. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I played this gig this weekend, which was fucking awesome. I smoke cigars. I got to slow down with these cigars, I think. Oh, do I love a fucking so bag. So do I. Why, I are you really smoking cigars? Yeah, I, I do. Oh, I smoke one tonight? <laughs> yeah, but it's too, it's too cold still. Like when it warms up. Go to a up, cigar to... bar. Yeah, like I a like fucking smoking. human being. Uh, outside being. of the cellar. Like, yeah, those chairs. No, you fuck them. You go to the cigar bar like a man. Soho Cigar Bar. Or you I go to the you... Macanudo. There's a bunch of... There's a bunch of places. There's a bunch of places in New York City. You just go get a nice espresso or a Diet Coke, sit down, light a, light a stove up. Yeah, I like no? that. No? Yeah, I would do it. But I'm used to doing it around spot, like, you know, do a spot, like smoke outside, go do it, come back. You know, you still got it there. Yeah, but cigars are so big. How the fuck do you just smoke them between they, a spot? Uh, they put them. Aaron Berg does that. He'll, be, he'll host the it. show. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. He'll host it. He's smoke outside. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he does yeah. do it. Yeah, see, I don't want to get into that. That's smoking to me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just a bigger cigarette, it seems like. Yeah, I can't do it um, without, like, smoking it like a cigarette, so I just stop. It's like so vent. Well, you can't inhale it. You just got to get used to that. Yeah. I like making, I love them. Man. I like making it an, an event. You know what I mean? Uh, I like kind of, you know, we all, after the show, we go down to Soho, go cigar bar, we right. order some appetite, we shoot the shit. You know, right. um, yesterday I went to my, I have a cigar club I'm a member of, uh, Cigar Republic up in uh, f like five minutes down the street from my house, which is you know it's just a fucking. So how many are you smoking a day? I'll tell you. I'm not smoking a day. Or... I'm not smoking a day. I'm smoking two or three a week, maybe, maybe two, probably two more like two. Right. That's not. Bad. I'd say three. I'd say three. Yeah, like yesterday I went up to the uh, this place. It's fucking great because it's a members only. Right. But they have a beautiful fucking cigar place uh, store. And, the, you know, the dude, Yuri, who's cool as shit, works there, and he'll fucking, he knows everything about everything. And, now you know, I brought my own bats in yesterday. I just bought a box of Monte Cristo Whites. Nice fucking stoke, really mild. Right. Go in there. I had to do some writing. 
and uh, fucking saw, I just sat there with a fucking stove, my computer, headphones. It's and great. Fuck it. Yeah, it's great. Ugh. Uh, and I, and I, as soon as I was done with the cigar, I was done with the writing. It was almost perfect timing. Yeah. Folded up my computer like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Went home. My wife had dinner ready. Number one manly uh -huh. thing to do. Yeah. That was fucking uh -huh. great. I have a question. This is like a nerdy comedy question. But when did you go from, like, knowing, like, you know, because you have that warrior period where you got to do, like, 15 sets a week yeah. or whatever, yeah. 20 sets a week. And then you went to that point where, like, okay, I can take a week off now, or I could take a and just do gigs on the road. Like, I can be smart about this. Where, like, if I need to work on something, I can use these two days, but then I can take these nights off. That's a good question. Actually. I was talking to Norton about this this week because you know I, I was watching his act and I was like, fuck, yeah. you know, I'm so in a fucked up spot right now because. You know, I, like regular people don't understand this. You guys don't understand this. But I had an hour that it was ready to go a couple of years ago. I just had this. It was from here to here. And it was around yeah. an hour, mm -hmm. maybe five minutes over, ten minutes over. But it was that was my hour. And yeah. I worked on it. And then, um, you know, whatever. It fell through. And we had to wait another year. But then, you know, my life changed. My son was born. I changed. I yeah. started talking about different stuff in different ways. So now I had this other 40 minutes or so of weird stuff, that, this other hour that was kind of not done, that would have been like a second hour. Yeah. And when I did my hour special, I just did every single joke I had. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I had all these – it was like a, a – a mixture of two hours so it was weird for me so I had all this extra material and now I'm out on the road and I don't know where the fuck I am because I have maybe one or two new jokes that don't fit with this but I don't have enough material to do a new hour right. but I'm getting paid good money right so I have to come up with some opener or it's like it's like you feel fucking weird. Do you do some? Uh, do you now? Do you will you do stuff that's been on TV or special? Yeah, I have no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, I was yeah. talking to Norton. He's like, yeah, you have no. I have no choice either. You have to do what you it have sucks. to do. But he's, you know, it was good advice. He actually said he goes, you know, you should open with the newer stuff. Yeah. And then close with the older stuff. And you don't, you know, um, I always do an hour, but uh, you know, you can do forty-five, fifty, and let the other asshole have, you know, five more minutes or ten right. more minutes. Which I really never do because I like doing the hour. Because yeah. for for years, I thought it was your and I still believe this. As a headliner, as the guy they're paying, you should do the majority of the time. You should be able to go from fucking one minute to an hour and kill. And you're a fucking headliner. Right. Yeah. You know, if you got to come in, you can do thirty five minutes and then crowd work for ten. I don't. I don't. You're, what are you doing? I mean, right. I get it. You have to do it. You got chosen, but that's not really headlining to me. That's right. fucking making it. Um, but you know, now it's like, I have to, I have to, it's like he said, it was funny. It's like, you keep doing the new stuff and slowly all of a sudden you're squeezing out the old stuff yeah. and then there'll be 30 minutes and then there'll be 40 yeah. minutes and then you'll have to figure out an opener and an ending and then you'll start, then the, the new hour will be there, but it's a process right. But it, because we get so fucked up because the curve was set so weird. Certain guys are just putting out hours every six months. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's I, that's not what I fucking do. But it also takes, you know, like, till you're, I think, like, 15-year mark to be able to even do that, you know? What, like, do an hour in six months? Uh, I think well, that's I think an hour even two years, every two years even, you know what I, I mean? Sometimes. Well, maybe, maybe yeah, 20-year, 15-year mark. But I think that there, look, six I don't. Six ridiculous. I agree. A year is ridiculous, I think. A year is ridiculous. I think so, too. Two years are ridiculous, I think. That's, that's two tough. or three, I think, is fun. I think two. That's, two that's is tough. good. You know what I mean? I think yeah. two is good. But, yeah. you know, the, the, but the fucking crowds are so, are, are kind of demanding it now. It's yeah. like, oh, I saw you last time. You saw me a year ago. You want me to have a new hour in a yeah. fucking year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, I did yeah. three new fucking jokes, you f but they don't get it. But I think it's you know as it is your responsibility to you know kind of push that out and have something new. But you know it's it's crazy too. The ones that can do when you can take three months off of stand up because you have that money. Yeah. Okay, you got dispo you got millions or thousands, mm -hmm. and you can take three months off mm -hmm. and just go to the clubs and do the, just clubs, clubs, clubs every night. Like Chris Rock, like Louie does, like like all the comics do. And they just fucking do that. And then all of a sudden they got the new 40 minutes 
right there because they just did the clubs for two months. Right. Now you can start going to clubs, not the theaters. Clubs where it doesn't, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. I'll come in on a Wednesday and do your club. I'm going to work my hour. And now all of a sudden you start sculpting it, sculpting it. And then all of a sudden, but you have that money. Now, guys like you mm -hmm. or me, yeah. we're getting paid to go do five shows. Yeah. And they want you to do well. Yeah, yeah. You you're out. there not because you're famous. It's right. because you're funny. Right. You know what I mean? And you bring some people in and you have to, where, do you just say fuck it and go do a new 20, a new 30, and if it's good, it's okay. Those people are like, yeah, it was better last time. That fear is always there. Yeah, yeah. You're going to yeah. lose them. Yeah. To lose what you've built before yeah. you can yeah. hold on to them. God, stand-up sucks, huh? It's fucking... <laughs> no, but it's, it's a gigantic puzzle is really it what it is. is. It's, it's a puzzle. Oof. It's like if... It's if, if you if, keep if, reworking the puzzle. But it's a great thing that you got all that material out on your hour. You got... that's. The th I, I think that's Yeah, but we only do. used an hour of it. So See what I'm go. saying? So what? Yeah, it's all in the good. editing, though. You edited it down to the best. You yeah. threw everything yeah. at it, edited it down to the best, and then maybe you could do something with the rest of it. But it's important. The quality I, of the hour is important. I have not so, not so much how fast you turn it over. I well, think. Uh, well, I think. Well, I think going back to your point, your qu your original question, because um, I know there's somebody in the chat going, "That's not what he asked." Um, <laughs> my the original question. I, I take time off. You know, look, I, I can come in. I can come in and go to the fucking city every night. Yeah. But I'm wasting time. I'm taking up space. Because if I'm not doing new stuff, if I'm coming in just to do the old stuff, I'm wasting my fucking time. Yeah. And, but I do think when you have, like, soon, very soon, I'm going to be coming in more. Like, yeah. I'll be coming in on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, uh, maybe Mondays. And I'll be trying to go to different clubs because I need to start working on a new hour. Yeah. I need to start doing that. So I'll be coming in more. Yeah. But I think there is a time when where... you do three spots a night, four spots? Depends. I'll, I'll probably do two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. That's it. I'm not running around. I'm not killing myself. Right. I don't need to do that shit anymore. I know if something's working or not. I know if something's working or not in one fucking spot. Um, but... I think, you know, when you, you know, I don't, ha I, my bills are paid. Everything's done. I know how to do this shit. So I don't need to fucking, I don't need to run around and do seven yeah. spots. I think that's more for social thing and to yeah. kind of be accepted than it is. I mean, I, I, and there's four people at this club. I, do you really know if the joke worked or you just run into it again? I don't right, know. Right. Do you need to yeah, do that? Right. It doesn't hurt. Of course, yeah. it's, it's fucking bad. But you don't need to fucking do that, I don't think. Yeah. Unless you want to show up because your friends are there and the club owner and it's another spot. You right. you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think but two spots a night on a weeknight is good for it. I think two I think spots. Unless you're specifically running something for something, it's two spots is enough, I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't give a fuck if you do four spots, but is that necessary? It's just going to burn you out, though. You, yeah. Then you, the weekend, you're either headlining and you're in the oh, city yeah, and you're trying to load uh, up on spots then. You're doing weekend spots. Like you do those six spots a night right. Friday. That's like, by the end of it, you're like, I don't even know what I'm fucking yeah, yeah, saying anymore. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't oh, I, dude, I remember when I used to host. I used to fucking, like, the third show in, I'd be like, I used to say the same joke all the time. I just do the same a joke that I did already because I didn't right. know if I did it. And they're just looking at me and be like, did I do that? Yep, okay. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. Like, I don't know what joke I'm doing. Yeah, it's yeah, fucked yeah. up. Because it's too many shows. What's so. the most shows you've done in a weekend? On a night? Oh, uh, on a night. It's, uh, I think, six. I think six is the most. Six. six what about you? Yeah. I think like six. What about you? Hey, Marina, uh, Franklin just showed up. How's your vag? It's not my, it's my nose. Oh, your mic. Keep mm -hmm. talking. My nostrils, actually. Yeah. What's wrong with your nostrils? I have a, sinus, a very severe case of sinusitis. What the fuck is that? Is it catchy? You okay? No. How, what'd you I have to get? I just blew some stuff in my nose just now. It feels really good. What? I don't know. Is it? It had herb smelling stuff. Just in it. chloroform. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's, try <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, trying. Yeah, so to good. Test I it. fell asleep for a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep for it. My clitoris <laughs> looked like it was hit with a ball peen hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. what? <laughs> what that last fuck? laugh was priceless. That what was great. Is, did you get diddled at the doctor's? He was nice. I was told by my. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Is there, <laughs> is there was some flirty? Uh, did he have a thing? He was kinda, you know what? I really wanted him to like me. What? No, <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine it being Dr. Zismore. I really or did. I don't even know mm. what the f why. Well, I have really bad health insurance, so it's like a referral to a very good doctor. And my doctor said since my insurance wouldn't pay for my 
high price uh, nasal spray, which is Rhinocor Aqua. It's like $200. Uh-huh. Um, she referred me to him. And she said he's not really nice to everybody. Okay. So I really wanted him to like me. And he liked you. And he did, and he was excellent. And he was, that's why I, I'm late, because I was like, I have to go to this guy. Right. If I don't get in, I'll never get in with this guy. Right, so now you're in with him. I'm in with him. What did you have to do? He was very cool. Was he hot? No. I mean, he's an older Indian man. I've never had an Indian man in my life, but he was very cool. So you were attracted to him a little bit. I wasn't attracted. I just wanted him to, I wanted my experience to be good. I wanted to go back and tell her that it was all right. Like you wanted him to like you like somebody with a fucked up dog <laughs> that doesn't like <laughs> women. Yeah. Like, no, but he likes you. That I've, You wanted that. I've yes. hooked up with so many girls who realized afterwards they weren't attracted to me. <laughs> right. After they fucked me once, they're like, oh, no, I wasn't attracted to him. I didn't realize that <laughs> until afterwards. <laughs> so you, you're saying you don't like you would never bang an Indian guy. I would. I haven't had it before. <laughs> Had it? Well, it's not food. <laughs> <laughs> There's one right here. I haven't here. had the roti. <laughs> the roti? What's that? That's Isn't the bread. Yeah. Uh, mm. I've had the naan. It's pretty good, right? Oh, I love the naan. Are you guys fucking right now? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so, what did you do now? Was, did he get weirded out with the ear? He's an ear throat. Uh, no. Yeah. Did he get weirded out when you took your top off? <laughs> 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 he, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That freak him out. <laughs> yeah. Nah, Matt has those fucking big dubas. Um, <laughs> I so do have huge ones. You got huge. You got huge I have a very good bra on today. Really? What kind of bra is it? Is it like from Gizmodo? <laughs> <laughs> Gizmodo? Is there an it's, iPad holder? What? <laughs> it does all kinds of things. What does it do? It'll tell you secrets. <laughs> It'll Are say, you t- touch me. <laughs> touch me there. <laughs> Marina, I'm sorry. Marina, what? What's that nasal spray? <laughs> is there something in it? You're acting a little oh, fucking it random. So, high right it now feels so good. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> nasal spray feels good. Uh, Marina, yeah. what? What did? <laughs> what does your bra do? Well, it lifts. It makes sure that I only have two breasts. I had three last week. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you saying? I had a really bad bra for a good month and a half. I was wearing, I don't know if you noticed, I was wearing a lot of hoodies, thick hoodies where you couldn't see my figure. It's because I had a horrible bra. I had three tits on stage. I was like, it was horrible. Now I have two and they're lifted and everything is fine. I have a waistline again. It's wonderful. And it'll tell you secrets. (laughs) (laughs) So (laughs) I'm fucking weirded out. (laughs) Fucking weirded out and half hard. (laughs) I have your rub, by the way. I'm sorry. Excuse me. (laughs) Speaking of, Bubba, relax. Marina came in here throwing bombs. Uh, She really did. Thank God. (laughs) No, I'm kidding, dude. You're great. You're fucking great, dude. Um, I have six shows though Friday. uh, well, f- I think weekends though, are different, though. Yeah. If you're, yeah if you, on weekends, I think because you can make m- rent money, you can make bill money working in New York City on yeah. weekends. So I think you do Friday and Saturday, Sunday, if they're paying weekend spot money, you do as many as the fuck you can. Right. Why not? Why, if you're in town and you're not headlining somewhere, yeah. go do fucking five or six spots. Make that cash, which you, it's like we're strippers at the end of the. There's nothing better than having that Just fucking a lot lump of, dirt of cash, of dirty money in your hand. Yeah, but if I you love do, it. but if you do more than two and then you load up on the weekend, it it just it burns you out. I think but loading up on the weekend, I think, is good because then you can. What I used to do is I would break my hour up into 15 minute chunks, and I would and I would switch it around and try to see if the jokes in the middle could hold up at the beginning. Right. Um, and, and if the jokes at the beginning could hold up in the middle and all of a sudden you're using your act like a puzzle. So now everything becomes stronger right. so that you have a strong act through the whole set. Right. Nice. You know what I mean? Instead of, because, you know, there's a lot of times where, you know, you go up, especially me, cause I fuck around with the crowd sometimes mm-hmm. and Hey, blah, 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 blah. And it, 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 there was a time a long time ago where I couldn't go back to my act cause I'd go up in crowd work and then I'd try to go back into my act and it wasn't, it wasn't as good. Yeah. So I had to just go to my act and no crowd work right. st- until that those jokes became fucking only thing I had. Right. So I can just do those and then I could add the other shit back in and then it just enhanced everything. Yeah. But uh I think during the week two spots is good, man. Yeah. I mean, anything else you're just trying to fucking be social. Yeah. I yeah. think. Why? How many spots do you do a night? I mean, I'm in LA now, so it's like now I'm like 30 a month and that's good there. LA is just yeah. f- Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. 
I mean, that's everybody. Like good. That's like that's seven it, a week, know? basically. Well, you yeah, I mean, if week. I'm not on the tour in the May, when I'm, I'm just taking May off. I'm doing like two shows, and that's it, just so I can build up. So then I can come back and be like, hey, I need to do this. And, you know, then I can ask for, like, all the spots again, you know. Yeah, but you get bumped out there a lot. I mean, that's the thing. I, I remember when I was out there, just, you know, it's like, oh, Adam Sandler, Seth Green, uh, Dane Cook, yeah. blah, blah, blah. This, and all of a sudden, yeah, you're going to put you up at the end. And there's four people. And there's, there's four and people left. And it's some type of showcase. And the industry's there. And it's like they're miserable. It's like, what the fuck? And even mm -hmm. out there, it's like, here... You know, like I work, I work like every club, but the cellar in New York, right? And in LA, it's like even the people like you know trying to get into the store, like the new people who got past there are like Al Madrigal and Anthony Jeselnik. These guys are already yeah. in such a different category yeah. than anyone, for instance, like who's like, hey, I just got my first late night set, and I'm trying to get into the clubs. You know, I think like, the store though, you know. the store's changing though. I think yeah. they they have a new guy there that actually who's great, yeah, who gets fucking stand up. Right. Yeah, yeah. The other guy was on the fuck another planet. Right. Yeah, I mean another fuck. And I you know, seriously, it's it's that club and other clubs in LA, it's, it's hard you know, to get up. Well, it's who you know and who you fucking blow for a long time. Yeah. Now I think this guy is actually the the one who actually takes other comics recommendations and knows stand up comedy right. and who should be the fuck in, yeah. who should be able to get on stage right. and, you know, I I went I, I went there and I what was it uh, Maz Jabroni. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He brought me in when I was out in L.A. for like three months a few years ago. And he's like, Bobby should be working this club and told the guy you should put him up. And I was like, cool, solid, right? Because if I work the cellar, if I'm a fucking regular here, I should right. be a regular there. Right, right, if right, I right. want to go, that's it. You know, yeah, that's yeah. just fucking it. Yeah. If you, if, you know what I mean? Because that, that, yeah. there's no horse shit on at the cellar. There's, there's just no room. Right. Everybody who performs here is fucking good yeah that's just yeah. it that's yeah. that's why i love the seller it's almost like a badge of honor right um there's no celebrity status just because no, you're famous no you, yeah no no i've seen it reject famous people no we can't we don't have time <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? but um you know i think that uh that new guy out there kind of gets it which is great yeah and, yeah and they're actually got a the, the if you look at that lineup now it's fucking that I see it because I follow him on no, Twitter. No, it's uh, it's incredible. The lineup's so, it, fucking that, that crazy. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to argue when you're like, when you're like, well, I mean, you know, these guys are at a different place. Than, yeah, like, yeah. What was there? Art? Yeah. There's no bitterness. It's just like, right. all right, well, right. just get to work. You know, yeah. that's it. Some lineups you can't argue with. You look at the lineup, you're like, I get it. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? It's like I, get I didn't it. get a spot, so then you look at the lineup, you're like, all right, I get it now. I get why I didn't get a spot. Well, it was years ago. Like I would walk by the cellar and see the lineup, and I'd be like, all right, yeah, I yeah. shouldn't, I shouldn't be here. Yeah, you know. And mm -hmm. then like, and then all of a sudden you see a couple other people get in at, at different places, and you're like, oh, yeah, I could be here. <laughs> 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 yeah, they, you know, the mystique is gone now. <laughs> the mystique uh, is gone for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's gone for me. But yeah. then they're gone too, probably in a week. And they're gone, maybe. Yeah. You know, who knows? <laughs> yeah, you can get in and get out real quick. Yeah. yeah. Do you have your own coffee cup? I. <laughs> what, do you have a day job? <laughs> <laughs> Will you at your fucking cubicle? I love this coffee cup. This is the Starbucks Thermo, and it keeps your coffee completely hot. Yeah, you know what else keeps your coffee completely hot? <laughs> a regular coffee cup. No. Yeah. Not, no. Well, what are you doing? You, you're getting over fucking a, a seven-hour period. Actually, yeah, I like to like. Well, you sit can with that. And, that's yeah. like that's like an e-cigarette. Oh, I love this thing. <laughs> no, I, I lost one of them, and I I fought, I tracked it down. The guy found it for me. Brought it. Left it at the cellar for me. You tracked a coffee I had cup to buy, down. This is a new one. This is a new one. Well, how did how you track it down? This is like twenty two, twenty three dollars. How did you mm. track I had it down? It delivered. Well, I did the show, the Lucky Jacks show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I sure. left it there, and I was so miserable about it. And I contacted the guy on Facebook, and I said, did you see if the coffee mug is there? Please get it for me. He did. Yeah, oh, wow. he did. Uh -huh. and he, you know that you talk shit behind your back, though. No, he said hey. he does the same thing, and he was like, and he came here. He left it for me. It was very nice. Really? This is it, Lance? Yeah, it's a brand yeah Lance. 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 I love Lance. So, yeah, this is. Uh, you got to get one of these. No, you don't. Coffee gets cold very fast. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I Listen. drink. I drink strong black coffee. Why? Because it's black. The, only in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> only in my coffee. That's all you want. Uh, that's how. That's how I kind of give back to the community. <laughs> <laughs> your, your guys, you like half and half. <laughs> no, they're all the way white. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you been with more white guys than black guys? No. No. 
Mm-mm. But half and half and half. No, I've been with more black guys. I mm-hmm. mean, just I've been around for a long time. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like the vampire. Uh, <laughs> I've lived. I've been, you used, <laughs> used to fuck children. <laughs> <laughs> you went to black guys. Now you're the white yeah. guy. Like, how long? Them. How long have you been around? Three centuries, no. Um, <laughs> Mike Lidris' no, is nameless start. I, I could say like no, I mean, decade, decade, decade <laughs> one. One, one second. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you fucking terrible <laughs> to be the vampire reference. <laughs> <record. laughs> fucking lesbian joke. <laughs> Lestat. I love that you fucking did the accent too of a vampire. I'm trying to like do this like a Vietnam vet bandana or something. <laughs> <laughs> See some shit there I found fucking hard to deal with. That's perfect for you. I'm not getting the spots I want, but I'm hoping one day. <laughs> I'm from Denver. <laughs> you look good with that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Dan saw me like sad. Like, what was I sad? I was you getting were sad, drunk, right? No, you were uh, <laughs> wondering whether or not you should have sex with someone. Yeah, because I, 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 was, I was fighting with my boyfriend, and then right. I was like two Jesus. wine glasses in, and mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was having the conversation with you. Yeah, no, I like, appreciate. it. He's I'm, right around the corner. I'm not the one burdening someone else. It was the opposite. I like that. Well, you didn't burden me, but it was nice to have someone. Have you ever had me. sex with uh, Dan? No. Have you ever uh, thought yeah. about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Could you have just change the cadence yeah. of the no? Like, no. Just wait two <laughs> seconds at least. No. <laughs> no. No. Actually, the second no was more. It was like, shocking. Disgusted. It yeah. sounded like more like a my god. Uh-huh. My yeah. god, man. Dear god. Do you have a penis? No. <laughs> yeah, it was that. It was that. It was exactly like that. that was I brutal. love you, though. Oh, I, 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 I appreciate you. I appreciate you, too. I'm so right, grateful well, to have you. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. We're not gonna take a break. We're just gonna keep rolling in here today. Uh, I'm gonna do the ad right now. So if you uh, just give me a second, we're gonna pay some bills. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me check this out. Spring training is underway, and that can only mean one thing. Baseball season is almost here, and there's never been a better time to check out DraftKings.com, America's favorite daily fantasy baseball site, where you could win huge cash prizes every day. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitment, which I love. And no slogging through a long season to collect your winnings. Just instant cash, instant gratification, the way we like it. Right, Mikey? Instant. Right? Yeah. That's the way you like your gumballs. Yeah, everything, right? It's like a new season every time you play, Mike. <clears throat> you gamble? Uh, not really. Not really. I don't really? have the money to gamble. Well, here's the thing. You can do this every day, and it only takes a couple bucks. You don't have to be a millionaire to do this. Simply <laughs> pick two pitchers and eight position <laughs> position players, okay? Stay under the salary cap, which is cool, right. and you could be on your way to a massive payday, bro. In fact, DraftKings has already crowned over a dozen millionaires. Imagine becoming a millionaire off of one of my ads. How great would that be? That would be awesome. Uh, uh, Hundreds of thousands of fantasy sports fans just like you and you, Michael, have cashed in at DraftKings (laughs) right now. (laughs) All right, so now it's your turn. Check this out. Hurry. Go to DraftKings.com right now. Now. And use promo code Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, to play for free in the $100,000 Fantasy Baseball Contest on opening day. First place takes home $10,000. Well, that's a lot of money. Uh, Use promo code Kelly for free entry now at DraftKings.com. DraftKings.com. That's DraftKings. Dot com. Mm. <laughs> boom, boom, bang, boom, 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 Hey, uh, real quick, I want to do everybody's shows. Uh, everybody li- in the, uh, I want to do shows in the middle now instead of okay. at the end because I just want to end. Um, we can do them again at the end too. We can plug them real quick. Um, my, I'm going to be uh, this weekend, I'm going to be at uh, the uh, Comedy Works in Albany, Friday and Saturday mm-hmm. night. Um, a couple shows here, a couple shows there. So if you live in Albany or up in upstate New York or over in Massachusetts, wherever, the Connecticut, uh, come over and check me out at a great club, uh, Comedy Works, uh, Friday and Saturday night. Uh, and if you listen to this podcast, here's another thing, too. If you listen to the show, we got thousands of people. I need you to do me a favor. I really need you to go to my website and pre-order my special. It's five bucks. Just swipe down your fucking credit card. Stop being such a... <laughs> it's, it's, I know the numbers, how many people listen to the show, and then I know the numbers of how many people pre-ordered my special. 
Get the fuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped 50 bucks on your special. You Shut up, Did Depot. you see that? Did you, did you really? Yeah, I did. With my real name. Well, it does. It take, that it sounds took. like a cry for help. <laughs> 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 notice me. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice that. Well, well Alex, what's your real name? What's your real name? My real name is Umardeep. But no, that's never going to fly. Up. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> what's your real name? Umardeep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Say it three times. <laughs> uh, Umardeep. 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 <laughs> uh, your fucking yeah. name is Umardeep? Umardeep. How'd you get Deepu? Uh, that's my family nickname. God damn it. Uh, yeah, it's a deep cute, a nice, right? It's a nice nickname. Umberdeep. Um, what is it? Umberdeep. Umberdeep. A M A R D E E. What does that mean? It means the knowledge of the sun. Wow. wow. Pretty cool, right? That's deep. That deep That's oh. hot. Stop blowing my fucking s- mind. <laughs> 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 I really botched your special read, but uh, yeah, you really did with your fucking. Look at me, I did it for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did it because Allison Rosen got booted off Adam Carolla because she never bought his book. Never showed any interest in her boss's uh, material, no. so I figured I'd do that here, so you don't kick me out of here. I would never kick Did you, you out of here. Just call Bobby your boss. I would never. He's my boss. I would never. <laughs> I would never the kick. Crime family. I would never kick you out of here. First of all, I would never kick you off the team. You're part of the team. <laughs> For not oh. buying my special. I don't pay you enough <laughs> to buy my $5 special. <laughs> he's, trying to, he's, trying to <laughs> he's trying to guarantee job security. Next you week there'll be a go, Pakistani you, kid in there. <laughs> you owe Deepu money now. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Can you take that off your hand? Oh, God. You fucking tight jeans are bugging me, too, by the way. We really let that moment sit, too. do you have a girlfriend? Too. Uh, um, I did until a week ago. Oh. Uh, so if you, if, you, if you want to try some roti, we can go out sometime. Or some naan. Yeah. On uh, my cheat day, we get some garlic naan. Ooh. Oh. Sounds pretty good. Are was you guys going to fuck? Are, yeah. you guys f- are you hitting on my fucking Marine. Deepu? Spinach with lamb. If you fuck Deepu and not me, I'm going to be really upset. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'll be upset too. Deepu and I probably have more of a connection. Why? Yeah, First girl I kissed was a black something. girl. There you go. Really? See, I think you yeah. just took it away with that comment. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know Deep, Deep was nervous because he's using his finger as a pointer. First girl I kissed was a black girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like, I had a black one first. That's what that sounds like. He's using that. techniques his dad told him, use your finger, Deepu. What was her name, Deepu? It shows confidence. Uh, I shouldn't say her name on the air. Just okay, say, make uh, up one. Yeah, just say her name. Like uh, something that sounds... Jasmine. Like. Okay. Yeah. That's the rice she smelled like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go buy my fucking special. I'm, I'm sorry to bring up this love connection. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Deepu bought... F- my bra's telling a secret about you right now. Oh, Ooh. God. Wow. Hang on. I'm getting fucking hard again. <laughs> Show me the world. You know, she's on something right now. Tomorrow when she's off, whatever she's on, I'm on she's going to blow you off. <laughs> Poor Deepu's going to have she's, his heart broken. She's, she's on Deepu right Deepu, now. Deepu, touch yeah. me here. <laughs> If you guys fuck, you need to tell me. <laughs> I need to know. Well, Marina, this. that's a great for She's between black and white, Ollie. which is Indian. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, well, Bobby. Should I get the bandana for laughing too loud or the racist <laughs> joke? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my special. <laughs> I still to get to his point. Please go mm-hmm. buy it. Just go fucking buy it. <laughs> the fuck do I got to beg you, my fans? RobertKellyLive.com. Uh, go check it out. And we're redoing the T-shirts. Apparently, people don't like baseball T-shirts anymore. I, we did this whole thing with the baseball T-shirt, and people, and I, 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 it wasn't selling that well. And some mm. dude wrote me, "Dude, nobody wears that. It's not, that, <laughs> it's not 1978. Really? Why don't you get a mesh shirt too while you're at it?" Uh, I like all your fans sound like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they fucking Dad. really do. Um, anyways, there you go. We're gonna switch that up. So, what else do we got? What What do you got coming up, Michael? Uh, I got House of Comedy in Phoenix, April 15th through 19th. Hot spot. And uh, the Omaha Funny Bone, May 13th through 17th. Nice. nice. Omaha's great. Yeah. And uh, my website, MikeVecchione.com. Boom. What do you got there, uh, Gorgeous? Oh, uh, thank you for Gorgeous. Uh, I'm in uh, Boston, Laugh Boston, next weekend. Have you done that club yet? No. Uh, well, I guessed by there years ago. It was really fun. How, how have you, uh, now, I'm there soon. Uh-huh. And, I, I, mean, is it, is it, I mean, is it a good place? I mean, the guest spot I did was great. You know, I always get nervous. Uh, I think it was good. They've been doing really good in promotion. You know good. what I mean? They've been tweeting out like a lot. All right. And then I'm doing Dr. Grins the weekend after that. And then I'm in Missouri at the last weekend. Mm, San nice. Francisco. What do you got, uh, Marina, besides uh, big titties, a new bra, <laughs> and an Indian boyfriend? Well, I have another bra. I have another one. It's yeah. beige. 
This one's black. Just so what you do know. you have? Do you have comedy shows? I don't have any. You know what? I don't have any road shows coming up. I just haven't. Do you call them road shows? <laughs> what are you fucking Did selling I elixirs? Them? I just haven't. Are you doing a hula hoop? Oh, it hasn't been my focus lately. What comedy? No, the just getting on the road. But I will be oftentimes here at the comedy cellar. You can see me. I am the host with most. Titties. And <laughs> that's a shit. Will you please speed this up? Oh, I also you you <laughs> may be able to catch me on the Jim Gaffigan show coming up. I uh, did that. I don't know when that's. It's what on is TV. That? It's on TV Land. What is it? It's Jim. It's Jim, Jim Gaffigan's Gaffigan show. show. It was originally supposed to be on CBS, but they re you know they didn't pick it up. So TV Land did. And the summer it comes out. Mm. What's TV? Awesome. Oh, what's okay, TV thank you. I didn't and know. And the summer it comes Station. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know. Station. <laughs> TV Land is a part of uh, Comedy Central, I believe. Oh, really? Okay. TBS. Like, uh, it's part like of TBS. Nick at Night, but then it became like uh, its own thing. What did you do on it? Can I ask? I play like a Catholic school um, assistant, like headmistress assistant. I'm very conservative, and I have very big hair in it. Right? Didn't you do something like that on Norton Show too? Yeah, uh, it, well... Right, don't scream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know why that came out like that. I don't know. You got tone issues today. That was weird. <laughs> you got fucking tone issues with poor Dan. I was a school teacher. <laughs> you fucked in? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were a school teacher there, too. I was yeah. a school teacher for Jim Norton, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Uh, and Can I mention my podcast, or is that inappropriate? Why would it be... <laughs> I didn't want to be like shifting your fans over to. No, I want my fans to go listen to your podcast. Well, for we one have time. a. <laughs> 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 well, we have a somewhat like it's somewhat theme based. It's like women of color discussing hot topics. We have Esther. I thought Kuhn you this couldn't say Friday. that word anymore. Women of color. Yeah. Oh, color. You can't say maybe colored. Okay. We have colored girls <laughs> discussing women of, women of topics. Color is just That'd be a great name for you. Know how many people would listen to that? Colored on, girls on who both considered... sides. <laughs> colored girls, hot colored girls. Some guy looks like. Colonel Sanders is I, I, I like listening to this show. <laughs> <laughs> These colored girls be funny. Oh, I thought sad. they were just going to be yammering and talking about rights. But they be talking about dick. Uh, Indian <laughs> dick. This one lady got Indian dick for the first time. <laughs> we did have Artie Lang on the show, actually. Oh, and that was really? a lot That's of fun. That's the opposite of a woman of color. Yeah. <laughs> but we had I was on the show with all these black girls. They, oh. Yeah, they... Uh, well, that's a great uh, impression. Oh, my God. Oh, he does it so there's, well. Uh, there's big ashes and tits everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she, I told him to come over to my house in Hoboken. <laughs> but we did that, yeah. too. One we of them showed that. up, and she sucked my dick in the hallway. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that oh, that's amazing. Tits. But it's called, um, the show is uh, called Friends Like Us. Um, and, uh, yeah, so. Great. Yeah, check it out. Check very out. great show, and uh, I'm very proud of. Yes, Marina. Robert is instrumental in it being mm -hmm. what it is. So thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Um, what do you got, Deepu? Uh, I started a new business last week called Better Call Deepu, where I uh, set people up with video podcasting solutions. And you can email me at Better Call Deepu if you're interested. If you have a podcast and you want to take it to the next level, make sure you do that because Deepu. Pretty, all, the, good. all the stuff we've done here is from his little Indian brain mm -hmm. and his little thin Indian mm. fingers. Hairy, but thin. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I worked with a guy last week. He paid me a nice sum, gave me some gifts for you and Joe and Dan. Where are so they? I put them in the swag pile in the other room. I know. You give them. I want to see them. Show them. You want them right now? No, I want them next Thursday. Right, so that means go, they don't have so go, go get them now, you fucking, <laughs> get, fucking sarcastic Dutch person. Um, anyways, uh, what do you got, Scope? Uh, April 17th and 18th, yeah. I will be with Lewis at Joker's Wild. Ooh. And then seven, that later Who's that headlining? Lewis. I... Yeah. <laughs> it was a joke. Oh. But you see how he said that quietly? Lewis so Lewis. he doesn't offend both his bosses? Lewis. <laughs> 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 You said you said Lewis into a microphone. Can you do Lewis's him. impression? Can you do an impression of him or not? Uh, I'm a fisting. I don't know. <laughs> I get it. Sorry, Bobby. <laughs> sorry, Jay. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, mom, dad. <laughs> Louis Gomez. Huh? Man, that guy posted Louis a lot Jay. of pictures of his kid. Aww. A lot of pictures. I love his, his kid. kid. You see that one today? The video he posted today? No, it's just like five a day. Oh, it's so cute though. I feel creepy. I've seen so many. Yeah. Maybe I have problems. <laughs> yeah. I really do sometimes. He call you know he the new thing is he skypes his friends and he'll call and have the kid there, so you gotta like talk to the kid and him. He just wants to blow time. 
Off yeah. his hand. He yeah. always, always, that's all he does. Yeah, was, yeah he, yeah, he I, I, I've been getting, fuck, all of a sudden my FaceTime keeps going off. I hear it in the other room and it's just off. And for days, it kept, and look, it's Lewis. Yeah. He's started to FaceTime me. <laughs> Like <laughs> with his kid, just a shitload of th yeah, and it's like I guess he's got to babysit during the day, and he gets lonely, and and, yeah, and the voice does. isn't enough. He needs to see your face, <laughs> and on his Mac because he has this a Mac. Poor kid's got to talk to all these fucking comedians. Well, he's got a fucking burner phone, you know, for his cell phone. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, that's fucking funny. stupid asshole phone he's got. <laughs> he, keeps, <laughs> he keeps asking me these stupid questions to keep me on the phone. I'm like, I gotta go. What the fuck? Get yeah. out of here. Right. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to talk to you in life. <laughs> Never mind on FaceTime. Well, Lewis is starting a headline now. That's great, though, right? That is yeah. great. That's, yeah, that's why I was great. like, Lewis who? That's wonderful. I love mm -hmm. Lewis. Yeah, he is. Uh, he had such a funny set last night at Gotham Comedy Club too. I love this bit he did. I was what, like, was Whoa, what, what was it? Whoa, it blew me away. It? About um... did they give you nitrous at this place? <laughs> <laughs> fucking banging Indians. Uh -huh. You fucking love Lewis. <laughs> I do. I always love Lewis. Oh, you're making me sick with your happiness. <laughs> what what bit was it? It was the one about... Yeah, it was a great bit. You don't even know the fucking bit. <laughs> well, He's fucking jerking him off. It takes me a off. while to set it up, but it, he, he's talking about how they said he was like, he's Puerto Rican. They said he was like white, and he says it's it's not, he's evolving. He just doesn't want to get stabbed. That's his dad joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, his dad yeah, joke. Yeah. It starts off very sad, like about his dad being murdered, and then, yeah, he says, I'm just evolving to not being stabbed, I guess, as a Puerto Rican. I was going to say, maybe you could take out the sad part. But it was really, wow. No, I had this opener, because this is my saddest joke. That's, that's yeah, this is my goes, saddest yeah, podcast. That's saddest joke right now. <laughs> it's, it's, that's how it starts. Oh, shut though. the fuck up. <laughs> All right, let's. I want to. Who is this guy? Keith Army. What does he do? What does he do? Didn't want his name heard in the air, but oh, uh, he doesn't. Yeah. All right, then fuck him. I, I'm not going to do that. I'm. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Oh. You should tell me that first. But um, tell him I said thank you. You show the gifts. You show the gifts, though. Right? Uh, well, I can't. He doesn't want his name out there, and I think his name is on here, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So we'll tell him I said thank you. We'll look at this after. Yeah. Sure. So, um. I guarantee those shirts don't fit me, by the way. No, there's like extra, extra, extra large. So. Well, let's set, settle down <laughs> with the fucking three extras. There's basically, we would have basically uh, one that's uh, just a circus tent. We just <laughs> I really, it's it's sad to say, man. It's like I, before See, I, You've lost weight since the last time I saw you. Have I? Yeah, you actually Are do. you just fucking being L.A.? No, I'm not just Are saying just that. Being <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> Are you just, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm going to be on Suits next week. Uh, Are you really? No, you no. Know. Like, uh, 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 when you get impressed about shit that yeah. shouldn't be impressive, <laughs> you're going to be a white collar. You look like you lost weight. Can you look at this script? <laughs> I mean, can we have a meeting at a Starbucks? Uh, Are you still working uh, out? Yeah. I don't like the even look at Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. She just said I had a nice build. Um, yes. 4A. <laughs> <laughs> Chat room fill in the blank. <laughs> you still box? Mike, uh, no, I'm gonna doesn't. go. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Really? Yes, but I that's am. not still. When I go, when I'm in town, I'll go. I work I, out. What do you work out? Yeah. What do you do? Just regular <laughs> weights. Go with uh, these guys. No, we go downtown and box with uh, Steve. Uh, I used to. Yeah. I uh, I started working out. I went to the gym yesterday by myself, uh, and I'm gonna work out tonight, and then I'm got the trainer tomorrow, so I'm gonna work out that's three to lot. four times a week, and I'm gonna I, I I'm back on the no sugar no grains. I felt the fucking vacation fucked me. It fucked me. I went off the charts, off the rails. To. Yeah, but you're the one who got me on that. I actually did, and it really it, worked. It works so uh, it really works really well. Yeah. The stress factory with him. He's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" Because I ordered like a chicken sandwich with fries. He's like, "You shouldn't even have bothered working out today. You shouldn't even have bothered working out." And then he goes through the whole thing, and I just cut so it. It's weird when he's I, like, when "Are you fatter, telling me? Are you, you telling me? You put this on while you do me?" <laughs> he's, and, yeah. Yeah. I can't hear now. He was telling me all the snags, though, too. He's like, uh, you're going to need, like, do almonds. I can't do you. I'm not. I'm it was good what you were doing. What are you doing? Uh, I have to, it has to be <laughs> organic. Yeah. I like how you go your own you voice higher. <laughs> your own voice. <laughs> it has to be the, the organic parts of the story. You Come yeah. on. You got to get to it. No, he's like, I you got to keep, Robert. okay, all right. You got to keep almonds next to your bed, dude. You got to keep, because you just start to panic. <laughs> so you got to keep almonds next to your bed. You can't yeah. have a whole I bunch of almonds, and though. you're gonna have a withdrawal for a while. You're just going to, but just deal with it. Just deal with it, and you'll see it just come off, bro. You'll see it just come off. Yeah. And then so, it did. It's always weird when a guy's more out of shape though says that to you. <laughs> you're like, I don't know. Nah, he was really, he was really lean back. Then. Oh, okay. That was when I was in shape. It was my, shit. it was my fifth, my fourth, my fifth skinny. My yeah, I saw skinny. your headshot at a club when I was on the road. I know. That's what beautiful, fuck. beautiful man. Here's what's fucking me now. My swag's getting fucked up because of all the different size headshots that are out there. <laughs> 
Because this fucking <laughs> the show we just did at the Mahaffey Theater, yeah. it's the twenty, uh, the sixty fifth anniversary of this place. Yeah. They had custom jackets made for all the talent. Okay, so anybody who works there gets a custom jacket, and it's this really cool old timey baseball jacket. Mm. Yeah. And I said it's going to be the wrong size because I'm the swag killer. And, you know, Artie, of course, they have his size fits great. Oh, it's great. Look at this. But no, I used to, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Did father. they take the headshot from when you were skinny? And they thought that was it? They found a skinny headshot of me, oh, yeah. which is they used in the ad, which fucking aggravates me. Because now all these chicks think this hot bald guy's showing up. I think Joe Coy's going to be there. And then fucking yeah. two, two every, ton Tessie's on chick, stage. Uh, every chick is like, oh, I got to fuck Joe Coy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's <laughs> true. That. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, I got my jacket, fucking large. Couldn't, and the guy still made me put it on. The owner of the place, oh, no. the guy who bought, he still no, just put it on anyways. You take a photo. Oh, so no. I had to take a photo with this fucking <laughs> leotard on. <laughs> 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 fucking awful. I was so mad. It was such a nice. Jacket. That happened to me at the, the my first nasty show. They, they, you know, my, the, the, they saw a skinny photo of me, and they got me my shirt, and yeah. when I, it was a large, and, and I, now I'm a fucking double X, and I couldn't fit into it. Mm. Uh, and it's sad, too, because I looked at jeans, like, around six months ago, when I, actually seven months ago, I dropped 45 pounds last winter, yeah. and I was on that no sugar, no grains, and everything was going great, and then uh, all of a sudden, fuck me, I put it back on, because one word made me put one sentence. Leary shows up at the, uh, fuck me, <sighs> shows up at the, uh, at the uh, uh, shooting date, and he goes, dude, you, I want you eating fucking donuts. Every time I see you, I want you a donut in your hand, because it was for a fat drummer. Right. And I took that addict, and <laughs> sure enough, I went to craft service without guilt every day. Oh. Wow. Cow tails. Oh, I would wow. love to have donuts every day. I fucking oh, it's ate. the fucking worst, man. <laughs> the, the craft service guy knew when he walked in with the snacks, they come in. <laughs> literally, if he come right to me first. <laughs> and if he didn't, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> hey. Did you tip him too? Uh, Give him a tip yeah, in the beginning? <laughs> fuck yeah. I fucking, I got, I put on all the way back mm. and it was a fuck. And, and Leary told me, he goes, well, you know, you. I, I didn't mean literally. <laughs> he was joking, but. It was um, you know, the the pilot. You'll see the f I was skinny in the pilot. I was fat but skinny. Then the difference between the pilot and the shoot date is mm. fucking nuts. I thought you were gonna say the road. I thought you were gonna say the road put it back on you. No, the, but then the road did because I had yeah. the I had that fucking I could just eat, do what I wanted yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the fat guy. Yeah. Mm. Stupid. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Well, that done. Tim Ferriss diet is the one I'm on. What's you that? You heard that? That's the four hour body where you do no sugar, no no carbs. Yeah. No, just you know, it's just that for six days, and on the seventh day is your cheat day. And you blow an Indian. You, <laughs> <laughs> Free healthcare. Uh, yeah, and his father's do, a doctor, by yeah. the way. I'm yeah. sh I, and maybe he's the one I just saw. Maybe. Oh, that'd See be around great. The All right, creepiest threesome ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, get out of the way. He yeah. was really nice. So I'm sure he was. What's um, up, what do you do on the fifth and seventh day? On the seventh day. Seventh day, you pray to Jesus. You have <laughs> all the food you want. You can have whatever you want. And it's something I did because I, for a long time, wouldn't eat anything for, like, years just because I'm, like, it's, I'm going to put on weight. So on that seventh day, I had things I never had before, like, like donuts or chocolate yeah. croissants or... But on that day, that's when I eat it all. But I get really sick. Like, I, I make sounds at night. I can't sleep. It's horrible. <laughs> I I'm like a beached whale. It's I awful. I had Shake Shack for the first time in oh, months, yes. and I got sick the next day. It was a uh, stomach ache the whole day. Because you, you're not used to I'm eating not used that. Cholesterol. Eating that. Yeah. There's a lot of cholesterol. Yeah. A lot of cholesterol, a lot of fat, a lot of sugar. There's a lot of sugar in that shit. The French yeah. fries and the ketchup. And you wonder why, like, your moods are yeah. all yeah. If you don't, yeah, if you don't eat your junk moods. food and you eat it like, one, like McDonald's late at night, you'll right. be sick the next day. Eating late at night's not good. Eating and then going to sleep, that's terrible. That's terrible, yeah. And also, but like, it's supposed this to work, this thing. The day you do the cheat, it bumps. It's like a, it's like yeah, revs yeah, you yeah, up, right. and then you drop weight drop really yeah. fast because you don't do it for the rest. Yeah, of but you're the not week. supposed to drop weight really fast. By the way, no. you're supposed to take it off slowly, and because that fucks. Yeah, up it's your not heart. healthy to uh, drop that weight. I don't know. Like, 
All I know this is that I'm back on no sugar, no grains, and I'm fucking. Um, I'm. I'm. You're I'm probably going sad. To, I'm going. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm saying that cheat day is so good for you. I don't. I can't do a cheat day because I'm an addict. Yeah. So yeah. A yeah. cheat day will fucking cheat be a cheat a month. Half. Right. Uh, cheat month. Yeah. We both did the yeah. same. But also joke. like my, <laughs> also like mindful eating too. It's like. I, I'm from a family that you eat so fast, you just cram yes. the food into your oh, mouth. Yeah, mine and too. Then you, you know, it's like you got to take a bite, you got to put it down, you got to look out the window, you have a sip of water, you take a break, you pick it up. Again. What do you it see? It should what? take time to eat. You shouldn't just be shoveling it into your mouth. What do you see when you look out the window? I know. What's the looking out the window? <laughs> no, but it's. it's, it's <laughs> why why it's, do we have to look out a window? Taste the food. <laughs> and it, is this the 18, just, 1800s? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I can no, carry no, your, I your family fish. doing like the, the soup pantomime in front of a real, like a good family. Trying to get is there, is there, see you looking at cows. Is there, is there a whistler in the background while you're having your meal? What the Dude, what about my the window? I have a fucking massive computer in my hand. You fucking look at porn and Facebooks. I can play chess with Jim Norton. I gotta look out a window. Yeah. Fuck look your out diet. Just, <laughs> the look out the window diet. It's mindful eating, Bobby. How about so mindful comedy? Mind <laughs> I would never think you're as funny as you are because you have the personality of an orphan. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> Saint that hurts. Ooh, call it out, Monroe. I said you were funny, you know. <laughs> That's the most important part. Just, you know, off stage, it's, you know, sobering. Let's go to the chat room. Let's go to Deepu chat real quick. What do we got? Uh, Steven Gonzalez says, Bobby's pocket flaps look like bacon. <laughs> I don't know why. Right up here. Uh, I can understand that. Go ahead. Derek, Derek Gatto says, I hate it when you sit through openers and then the headliner does less time than the openers. Well, who does that? Who does I've that? never heard of that before. Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody, I don't know. Like That makes sense, though. They asked me, there, someone asked me back in the day to punch up his hour, and I refused. Yeah, that's a rough one. I, but I, I was like, all right, the first 10 minutes, I was like, okay, okay. All of a sudden, once he did Denzel for like eight minutes. But, Is he good Denzel? Uh, he did Denzel for like eight minutes. No, he doesn't. Yeah. It's Nick Cannon try, doing Denzel. Oh. You know, Dean Edwards does a great Denzel. Oh, he does yeah, a yeah. great. <laughs> Jay Farrow does a great Denzel. Too. Yeah. Oh. Um, what else we got? I would do Dean just to hear him do that. You'll fucking do anybody, apparently. Not yeah. true, Robert. Uh, not true. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Not tone. true, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> what are, you, are you trying? Are you auditioning for Game of Thrones or something? Right now? <laughs> what are you working on? Not true, Robert. Thou art wrong. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, Derek Gatto also says, I noticed a lot of comics just go straight to their homes after a gig. Why not explore the city you're in? Ugh. Because we've explored guy? every ounce of it. <laughs> we, we, the people in the sh No, room. but that's a good point. Comics should do more of that, I think. But it's like... I'll, I'll, you, I'll explore the city you're in on the road. Yeah, on the road. Live I'll, a little. First of yeah. all, I do that. Right. I, I fucking go to restaurants. I yelp. Great. I always take the... <laughs> restaurants is your first go-to. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Anger is so bad. <laughs> Just <laughs> outline your diet. Where can I now? get a good pasta for you? <laughs> 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 that, was, that was good because he was Irish. We're getting a good yee. I hope. I, I want you to leave. I want you to take off. <laughs> it's not her fault. It's a nasal spray. A pasta for you, yee. <laughs> Sounds like a Russian yeah, at the end of the show. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't even get an audition on my best friend. That's show. fucked. Weren't you on the show? Never. Are you kidding me? No. You weren't on Rachel's show? No. Why? This is just a pilot or get You're picked gonna up have, to a it's series. It's a pilot, yeah. Oh. It's a pilot. Yeah. And I She'll think she has no show. control over yeah. what's going Her on. <laughs> Yeah, she actually said that to me. She was like, kind of whispered. Yeah, to me yeah, yeah. As soon yeah. as I that's, go, that's that's a tough thing. But with pilot, you can't have everybody. You know, it's just, no, you no, get, no. Yeah. I thought it was. A, yeah, you pilot, you can't. There's have someone everybody. trying to keep me out. I don't know who it is, but when stop I'm that. Stop out, thinking that. But it, she told me she's like, she's like, you know what? As so, soon as I can, and as soon as it works, <laughs> as soon as we could find a place for a black person like yourself, right? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. Jesus, man, that's just scary. That's sad. Plus um, the Julie, eh? But I, <laughs> I, when I go, when, let me just back up here. When I go to a new town, mm -hmm. I will yelp the cool places to go as far as restaurants. And I'll always take the middle or the opener or whatever out with me because nice. I know they don't go. Or I ask them where to go. Um, and like uh, when I went to D.C., uh, the what's his name? The Stavros. Kid, Stavros. He, me and him, when we go to uh, Magoobies, we always go to Honey Pig. 
Twenty four hour Korean barbecue. It's good, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's a younger version of you. Yeah, he's he, bonded he, over. Have that. you ever though done that where you took it out a middle or a, or a host, and then all of a sudden, like halfway through the conversation, you're like, "This is a fucking brutal idea." Like. They're just like, oh, well, you know what tough, happens? This is a tough hand. I'll tell you, you know? what happens with a lot of hosts yeah. and middle, yeah. middlers is that they, you treat them nice or you take them out, and then all of a sudden they think that you're best friends and they can say or do whatever the fuck they want. Right. And then they say some shit that you're like, are you out of your fucking mind? Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they'll go over on their time a little bit or, yeah. you know, and then they'll say some fucked up shit to bust your balls and you're like, dude, shut your fucking pie. You know, just because we were joking around a little bit doesn't mean we've been best friends for the last eight fucking years. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to tell them to beat it. And they're like, really? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Because you know what? I learned a lot of headliners don't let the fucking, uh, those guys, in, even in the green room. It's like, fuck you. Nobody comes in here. Yeah. There's you know? like a middle right. ground. And there's well, a, yeah, there's, yeah, a, there's a reason there's for that because of the ones who've yeah. messed it up by talking well, too much. S- well, some of them don't know that, you know, they <laughs> think they're the shit because they got comic of fucking whatever town they're in. <laughs> comic <laughs> of the year. Best comic in Terrytown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some fucking twat voted them uh, best whatever the fuck it is and they think they're the shit because every time they go up, they fucking crush for 20 minutes. Right. But and can't you tell by their act? Like, you can tell guys who are, like, doing real not necessarily killing the hardest yeah. but are trying to they're trying to do real comedy versus the guys who are just going up there and just like trying to murder for Where, you, you, get, you have those features from the town and they're like you guys know ryan they have like bits about people everyone knows by yeah. first name yeah you know? stavros is actually funny yeah. he's funny yeah he's yeah. really good he's funny I no that was a statement that was yeah that was a statement all right yeah. um, but no, all right. anyways uh, maybe, um, it's middle. maybe it's middle i love i love going on the road i'll, I'll i find cigar bars now and that's my new thing yeah. i'll find a local cigar bar which which is re- uh, usually really cool, really interesting people uh, who own them and go there. Right. Uh, and I'll find some type of cool restaurant on Yelp, that, uh, and I'll go have food that I've never had. It's a little harder when you're on no sugar, no grains. It's more expensive because you're going to have to get the steak or you're going to have to get the oysters. You're going to have to go right. a little higher end. You can't just go get the burger and fries at the fucking best burger joint in the world. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to go spend a little cash. But it's, it's, it's usually Yeah, I was trying to eat healthy the last few weeks. Instead of so getting, like, a pizza, expensive. I had to get, like, you know, jerky or something like that. Yeah. And pe- you can get dollar pizza here. So two slices, $2. Yeah. Jerky's $9 at 7-Eleven. So well, yeah. There's some good stuff. jerky, yeah. yeah. What jerky? else you got in there? Yeah, like beef jerky. Uh, Black Gospel says... Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You guys know? Uh, Black Gospel says, I took, I took Godfrey to a bunch of parties when he came to Austin. Two nights in a row, dude didn't thank me at all, douche. Isn't that strange? What, what do you want, a fucking note? I don't know. What do you want, a, a, yeah. a gift? I right. guess, yeah. Well, it's not that he's supposed to thank Maybe they were, yeah, maybe right. they were shitty how about, parties. How about the thank was that you got to hang out with Godfrey for well, two Well, maybe nights. it wasn't mm-hmm. genuine than his offer if he was looking for the thank yeah. you. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Not everyone deeper. thanks you by saying it. Sometimes it's just by being there. Yeah. You were graced by Godfrey's presence. Well, no, let's Be not get carried away. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm choking. <laughs> poor guy I know I'm going too far. Lugged around that Be- fucking yapping ass for fucking two nights. <laughs> I'd have probably stayed a lot longer than he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right. the guy, the guy does have a point. <laughs> what else you got? You got, any, you got uh, James Pasqui asks, is it okay to get into stand-up just for the pussy? Yeah. As long as you... Uh, Except the fact that it will end someday, and you'll be old, and there'll be no pussy, and you'll just be a hack. Yeah, the pussy has right. to be the stage, yeah, my brother. You, yeah, when you're up there <laughs> fucking doing jokes yeah. about banging, and you have uh, you have uh, no hair, and you're you're fucking yeah, it's over. Fucking a big fat nose, and yeah, nobody nobody's gonna buy it. You know what I mean? What else you got? Uh, I believe that's it for now. Louis J. Gomez, what's that last one? Oh, uh, Louis J. Gomez uh, asks, where do they find score headphones to fit over Vecchione's head? Oh, come <laughs> on. That was easy. Was that Lou? Yeah, that was him. Why well, the was... fuck wouldn't you read his first? You point. really, you know, he's, he's fucking on the yeah, show. I don't, I don't support that comment. Yeah, I don't support that comic. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? I want his headline date pulled at Joker's Wild. No, you don't. <laughs> You, if you don't, if you don't like him, let him keep it. Switch the order, <laughs> Scopo. No, uh, no, 20, no. At Twenty-five. I'm doing a lot of. Hey, how you doing, guys? All right. Hey, great to be here. The only that fucking that, the only that gig has is it's down the street from Frank Pepe's. Oh yeah, it's like oh, the, the Italian section with one street. Oh yeah. god, it it's really is. I don't what do you, think what, Frank Pepe's that good, by the way. 
Fuck. It's Look, I'm not, not getting, that good. We're not getting into <laughs> the pizza not talk. Bobby got emotional. Yeah. Bobby got emotional. We're not getting into the pizza talk. It's not that good. That's, we're not getting into the pizza talk. Why? What's Which, wrong? Be, Is it emotional for you? No, it's not emotional. <laughs> He's just out of his fucking mind. Yeah. You think, I, I'm not saying that you can say it's not the best to you, mm. but to say Frank Pepe's pizza from the original <laughs> Frank fucking Pepe's <laughs> is not a good slice of pizza. I didn't say I said it's not that good. You, to say it's not that There are good. a lot better places in the city than... Uh, oh, fuck. This is like talking about Aaron Hernandez. You're an <laughs> asshole. You're an asshole. Like very sensitive. You really are just an asshole. Why am I an asshole? Because... I disagree with your favorite place? Dude, stop antagonizing me. I know what you're doing. <laughs> What's your favorite place? What's yours? I like Ben's. You're oh, right fuck. there on that corner. Ben's ben. regular uh, pizza? Or no, by me, it's a place called Roses. It's really oh, good. Fuck. I hope it burns down. <laughs> what, what do you get in the regular chat? What are you looking Bobby at me Chad. like that for? Yeah, go ahead. No I mean, this the Bobby chat, Bobby chat, Bobby chat, go. Just read. Okay, fine. Uh, Just the, read it. The host at Baked Potato in L.A. ripped into Mark Marin all night because he big-timed the show at last minute and pulled no show. What the fuck? Why you, that's a great, interesting fucking thing. See, Why little, would you not bring that up? It's a little antagonistic. I don't know if you want to burn bridges, you know? What Fucking bridge am I going to... I love Mark Marin. Yeah, let's start the Marin Baked Potato War. <laughs> 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 the famed comedy rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Baked Potato, by the way? It's probably some independent show in L.A. So he, he yeah, went up and... What good. is big time? What does that mean? Just uh, was too big to probably not announce his... Uh, he's not going to be there and then didn't show up. Oh, he didn't... They're saying he didn't yeah. show up. He was he booked for the uh, show and didn't show up? Yeah. Look, man, Mark has... We, like all of us, he has fucking issues. Yeah. And you don't know what the fuck that was. Mark would not... He's a professional stand-up comedian. Yeah. He would not not show up to big-time people. I think something probably came up. Anxiety, he's got his show. Own show. Yeah. He's his shooting a show. Yeah. He's always worried about his cap. He's shooting a show right now, <laughs> which I did an episode on. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cameron. Somebody's a real nice. good friend of Mark Maron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you just do the camera smile? Uh, I did a roper. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, what else you got in there? Um, Tommy Stevens says, Fezzy wants to bang you, by the way. What does that mean? I think, I think he meant uh, Fez from Ron and Fez. Oh, well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm that fat now. I became a fetish. <laughs> I became a type of gay guy. I love Fez. I Is love Fez too. Virgin? Great. I don't know, but I'm not fucking him. <laughs> I think you should. Why? For the show? For the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For him. Uh, yeah. A was, very special you, episode. See, a very special episode of Ron and Fez. <laughs> Bobby Plowfox Fez. <laughs> and, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> what? <why? laughs> Sorry. But what if I fucked him? Grab him by the mustache. I, oh, Jesus Christ, why don't Sorry. you fuck him? I'm really getting into it. I know. You look like a young <laughs> Fez. <laughs> Fe fez begins. Uh, yeah. Before gay Fez. <laughs> Um, what else we got in there? Uh, MVP of the chat room, Fuck Yo TV, says, When Mad Meets Sad, that really is the Robert Kelly story. When Mad Meets Sad, yeah. Yeah. I, I know. I, my, I, I, did I talk about this last week, my therapy session last week? Mm. Yeah, last week I, I, I got real emotional in my therapy session for the first time in a long time. Because he, he, um, he asked me, he goes, when was the last? What's the, tell me the, the, uh, a happy childhood memory. Mm. And I was like, I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh shit, oh my god. You have nothing. I was well. I have the one I came up with, which is sad, is the one where I, uh, when my mother, we all we moved out of my grandma's house with thirteen of us, me and my sister, and she married the second stepdad who we didn't know was Satan. And when I remember when they carried me into my room, my room. Because me and my mother and my sister slept on a mattress on the floor in my uncle's room, um, when they kept, which I didn't mind. I just didn't know any better. You know, that was just what life. But I walked into my room, and I had uh, a bed and a toy box. But I remember looking up, and there was a light. There was a chandelier, like a kind of mid-century funky chandelier, and they were like, "That's yours." I go, "What's that?" And they go, "That's your light." I go, "That's mine." And wow. they were like, yeah, that's yours. I go, that's my light? I can, that's my... They're like, Bobby, that's your light. It's for you. You can... And they showed me how to turn it Jesus. on and off. And I remember I would just sit there and turn it on and off because I was like, I never had anything. You know, I didn't even have a bed. Dude, so that is the I, same scene as the blind side. I was going to say, it's the same thing with the bed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I, I, I remember. I goes, I had never had a bed before. No, he has never had a room. Oh, no room. She goes, what, a room? Yeah. She goes, no, a bed. Crazy. It was crazy. That's... That moment in Jeez. my life. So now it's weird because if you look in Max's room, 
there's this really cool light we have in his room, and I. I never knew it, but every time I would walk in, I'd be like, I'd bring him in. I'd be like, there's your light, Max. That's yours. And I would always say that to him because this is your. And I say that about everything. This is your bed. This is your, uh, you know, that's your rock up for these are your trees. And, you know, because I never had a house growing up. I didn't ha I didn't. I, we had apartments and weird shit. Yeah. And then it made me bring up the time when shortly after that, when I was, I never knew violence. I never knew anger. I never knew fear. I didn't know it. I just didn't have it in my life. Didn't it didn't exist. Regular stuff, falling, getting hurt, blah blah. But I didn't have uh, uh, another human being scaring me, scaring me, or threatening me, or, or abusing me physically. And then I remember when I was sitting on my beanbag and I woke up from a, a sleep, a nap, and it went from night to day. You know, the sun was just setting, and I went into the other room and I opened the door and I saw my mother get punched in the stomach by this man and then I saw my sister go to grab the phone and he wrapped it around her neck and threw the phone at her head and then they all I started screaming and then they grabbed me and ran into my sister's room and I shut the door and I held it as because I didn't want him coming in and they were all crying my mother and my sister holding each other and he was screaming and they kicked the door through his foot through I went flying hit the wall and I pretended to be hurt because I thought I would play possum. I just didn't know. And then he screamed at them, and then he screamed at me, you're not fucking hurt, you little fucking bastard. Get the fuck up. And I pretend I, pretend I was just crying, and then he walked, he slammed the door and walked out. That was the first time, that was from that moment on, from that second on, my life has never been the same. My life has been, I've been afraid of people. I've been afraid. I've been in fear of everything going, being taken away. Uh, people disappoint me. And through that, I learned that anger is the only way to defeat anger. That's what I learned from that. So when I started to get angry, it could com combat that, his anger. Right. And f that's when, yeah, it was this fucking but sad shit. And so this guy, uh, there you go. So now that you know that, though, like after in that therapy session, yeah. did it? Did you find now that you're aware of it, yeah. you can turn it around with I'll tell less you, anger? I'll tell you what it did. When you're aware of where your anger comes from, which anger is fear. That's all it is. Anger, you're afraid. That's all it is. Anger is fear. That's it. So, yes, now, like me and my wife got into a fight this weekend. And sometimes they get heated. You know what I mean? I get fucking... Because she'll do things that are very passive aggressive, very fucked up, and there's no need for it. And it's it's manipulating and kind of weird, and it makes me go, you know. And now, this weekend, I was like, hey, can you not do that? You know, because that fucking, that kills me when you do that. That really fucks me up. And I did that with a friend of mine, too. We got into a little fight. And I was able to, instead of fuck you, fuck him, and fuck that, I called him up and said, you know, dude, Dude, that fucking kills me when you do that, man. I'm sorry. I know it's not supposed to hurt my feeling because I'm a fucking grown man. I know. And we're comics and we're supposed to be macho. and right, right. But it fucks me up. Yeah. It, I'm sorry. It right, does. You know. I got fucking issues. And you're my fucking friend. And that fucking hurt me. And it was like, dude, I didn't mean... And then it was over. We, It was like, I did this because I was like, oh, I thought you did that. And it was a miss... And then we... And it was over. And then he, you know, it was a... Now... What's weird about that is that we're somehow tighter. There's somehow yeah, yeah. the bond is better yeah, 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 yeah. Right. through that I through that, that honesty, that directness. That. Yeah. 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 Because I, I, I you know, I, I'm sick of walking around with resentment. I walk around with a lot of resentment. I think in this business too, we hold on to that. It somehow fuels what we do too, which right. is hard to. It, it works in the beginning, but then after a while, it starts to become a hindrance to everything. I think, yeah, it does. At the beginning, it kind of gets you up there and gives you attitude and yeah, fuck, fuck this, this and guy, right. right? That, and then right. after a while, that fuck you is not enough. Yeah, I think you can still own the psychology of anger. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can still own the psychology of resentment and talk about it. But I don't think yeah, I can't walk around with it. There's, yeah, because it, it eats you. Then it's like yeah, there's certain people I don't talk to anymore. Yeah, and it's like I don't hate them, but if you want to call me, great. But if not, I'm cool too because I can't fucking have that anymore. Yeah. But there's certain people that I've hey man, it's cool. Let's just move on. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. It I takes such a long time to get there, too. Like, I, I watch my young boyfriend go through it, and I'm, I'm watching him grow and develop. It's a beautiful thing. But I, I keep telling him, like, how to be direct. Because I, where I'm at, I'm able to do it now. But watching his, like, stages of it, I'm like, oh, my God. I was there, like, you know, 20 years ago. Just trying to figure it out, how to just say exactly what I mean to someone. Yeah. And like watching him go through it, it's like, it's kind of painful, but it's like at the same time, I'm like, you'll get there, you'll get there. Well, you're right. afraid of not being liked. Right. You know, when you tell somebody, yeah. hey, man, if, you, if you're honest with somebody and say, hey, I don't like that you did that, you're afraid of the consequences. Right. You're afraid of being alone. You're afraid of them telling other people. You're afraid yeah. of you, walking into a room and people going, to, you know, there they are and that does happen especially in this fucking shit business yeah you know what i mean yeah. but there is a point where you have to you know when you can rely on your talent or your knowledge of how to write a joke or write a script or act and you can rely on that and just say you know what fuck these people or fuck this stuff yeah. i need to i need to be real i need to just Whatever the consequences are, because for my sanity, yeah. I need for my humanity, for for who I am, I right. need to, you know, just be honest. But that's a hard thing to do, man. Because if anger is a fucking drug too, anger feels fucking awesome. Screaming, yelling, yeah, yeah. fuck them, yeah. fuck this, these fuck. This I don't think I don't know if there's any better release. Yeah, you know, because I get angry a lot, but it's when people disappoint me that I have high expectations for. That's why I get out angry at my wife. The expectations are so high, and then when you don't do it, you don't somehow you don't like me as much as I like you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I really expected you to do this, and you blew it off or fucked it up and didn't. So you because I wouldn't do that to you. Right. Never would I ever fucking do that to you, and but somehow you did it to me, which means the level of like is different and that fucking kills you where you're like go fuck yourself yeah. you know it's because it, but here's the thing i don't want my son to see it mm, you know yeah because yeah. yeah, i saw this thing with this guy this commercial where the, the dad was doing something and then he looked over he didn't see it but the wife saw it. the kid was doing everything the dad did mm. and i was like that's fucking real yeah, man that's real yeah. Yeah, my well, you know, you turned out okay with all the fucked up shit that happened to you. Dude, I'm, I'm, we're not there yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. dude. I still have a shot of getting fucking through. No, but it's jail. an addictive energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anger. <laughs> I, still, Anger. I still have a shot of fucking in some traffic jam. Or... That's it. Yeah, dude, I flipped out at the airport last week. I fucking almost murdered a guy because he hit my car. He tapped on my car. Was he apologetic at all? Yeah, he was apologetic. I was too because I don't like anger. I'm, I'm really yeah, not that right. guy. I think anger is a sign of weakness. Loss of control. Yeah. Yeah. It's an addictive energy, though. Once you get in it, like it feels like it's almost like you want to feel feels more right. of it. it also, feels, like, yeah, I it feel feels, like all and the... you feel justified, especially when you feel justified in it. I feel you like all the real... justified is a tough yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, all the real dangerous people too aren't like the guys who shout like Joe Pesci. It's always like the Shigor from No Country for Old Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. just kind of stare at you for a while, yeah. and they're oh, almost yeah. amused the at your the fact one. that you're upset, right. and then they'll just yeah, those are very fucking dangerous take people. you out. That's you the know? quote from American Gangster: "The loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the yeah, room." Yeah. It's actually from um a a a pimp cool pimp something. What's his name? I'm not helping you. With cool this. something pimp. I'm not <laughs> cool something pimp. You sound like it's, my mom coming up with a pimp name. It's <laughs> oh, 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 that's what I saw. <laughs> cool, cool something pimp. Cool something pimp. pimp. Oh, you know, that. cool something pimp. I want the one the, the kids are talking. Isn't about. that a new cartoon on BT? <laughs> cool something. Yo, pimp. this Sunday, cool something pimp teaches the kids again. Oh my God! How to make a dollar out of fifteen? It's cents. so important. I wish I could get his name, but he's the one where they all even slim. Slim. Yes. Slim? Yes. Slim what? Slim what? Pimp Slim? Slim. I can't. Cool Slim Pimp? Iceberg. Iceberg. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of... I, I, I feel weird schooling her yeah, on I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. about wow. Iceberg Slim. Yeah. It yeah. is kind of funny, though, because when you... When he said you, the like, one in the room who talks a lot. Shut up. We got to get you. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, like hearing like... Because I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a better one. Ready? The unoiled wheel squeaks the loudest. The unknown wheel, yeah. 
I'll, I'll, I'll take the bandana. I'll have that. I, was, <laughs> I don't think was, that was a joke, though. Again, I was trying to get some. I, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was watching last night. I was watching a documentary on Otis O'Toole. You know, the guy who went around with Henry Lucas, the serial killer guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hearing like again, like hearing us bitch about shit, like fuck that motherfucker, and then hearing him describe his crimes, where he was just like, yeah, and then I just took him in the car, and then <laughs> I casual. shot him in the head because he was talking to. Like it was just so yeah. calm and yeah. like, and you're like, oh, that's the motherfucker. Yeah. That you got to watch out Most for. Most serial it's killers are like guy. the pleasant guy. I mean, you yeah, never yeah, expect yeah, yeah. anything yeah. coming from There's some guys who are just, yeah. you know, completely. I mean, don't get carried away. I, I do think that, you know, th these situations can always uh, go fast and go quick when you're yelling. Like, me, you know, Mike, fuck you. And you're like, fuck you back. All of a sudden, we're rolling on the ground. I hit my head. I'm dead. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, serious. My kid has no dad. My blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. And, you know, you're sitting there feeling. So it's like these. Uh, that's why I hate. I don't watch these fights, man, on, on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I can't watch them. I can't watch a gang of people beat up a mother and a kid yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Oh, or horrible, when yeah. two people fight. I don't. Star, I, I like watch bully Gangstar. shit for some reason. I can yeah. watch that because I like when a bully gets his yeah. ass kicked. Yeah, I love that. There's a morality yeah. thing there. Yeah, but when, with two guys fighting and one gets knock, like knockouts, it scares the shit out yeah, of me, yeah. man, because... It's like that. Yeah. That's so dangerous. I like well, those I feel girls like... in McDonald's. Those young girls yeah, fighting in McDonald's. Oh, Did you God. see that? that and then that St. Patrick's Day parade. They had the guys uh, fighting outside the bar. Oh, I saw that. And then that. Yeah. I didn't see that. Well, it's weird now, like because back in the day, I feel like everybody knew how to kind of fight, and now today, either you don't know how to fight or you know how to kill somebody because you're doing like that UFC shit. Like you know, I can take somebody out in two punches, or you what you're like slapping somebody's it's ass. It's not even that. It's just you know? like there was a set, there was a s sense of presence. I think before where if there yeah. was a fight, everybody's just like let him go at it. Yeah, you know what I mean there was a f fight. My and husband. it was always that one was guy that who said, "All right, enough, enough." Yeah, yeah, yeah. let him go at it. And then yeah. when the guys, all right, it's over now. But now it's like there's no rules. Like it, it, there's fight between two people, and then one person's friends will just jump in and then beat yeah. the guy down and stomp him. He'll be out, and they'll still be kicking. Can him I say in the something? Head. I think yeah. that happened. I just don't think we caught it because it, of we didn't have video cameras. I, I, because re I remember oh. when I was growing up, I hung up when I hung out drinking. Yeah, I remember, dude. There was a guy. In there was a guy in front of us on a bike at a red light, and we beeped our horn because he was in the way, and he gave us the finger. And we just got out of the car and beat the fuck out of him and then smashed his bike and ran it over. Oh, my Robert. God. Yeah. I mean, if they... Was he passed out, like, beaten to that Yeah, point? but was he... He was oh. in a bush. Yeah. yeah. Was he down on the ground, knocked out, and you're still kicking him? They were, they, I didn't, because I, I didn't have that in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, got, I used to get hit because I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do shit. Do certain I, stuff. I used to get beat up by my friends. The guys I hung out with right. would punch me in the fucking face oh, if you for not being that guy. Right. Don't be I never, a pussy. I never had that in you. For, what? Like, don't be a pussy? Yeah, I thought you said for being a pussy. I was oh, like, Jesus, no. scum. <laughs> I tried to grow up in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bubble butt and a gun. I, uh, yeah, I, I remember that. It was fucking terrible. I felt shitty. Here's this fucking guy on a bike. We were beeping at him just being dickheads. We were laughing, too. And he was like, fuck you, which we should have took. Right, Because right, we're, we're right. being dicks. We're being... Right. Out of the car, boom, boom, just four doors open, Monte Carlo, some fucking beat the shit out of him, ran his bike over, that's it. We used to do that shit all the time. Yeah. I think that shit happened back that's in the like day. That's like a scene from The Sopranos. I just realized we're like I thought AJ good, and his friends. Goodwill hunting. We yeah, used to beat scene. guys up. Like <laughs> yeah. People would walk through the park late at night, and, and we'd just beat the shit out Why? of them. Why? I don't know. Black we were, guys? Did you get no, black guys? No, we didn't guys? hang out with black people. What are you, crazy? <laughs> did you, I mean, did you Lived beat them Boston. up? Did you run after them? What's well, weird in my neighborhood, in, in where I grew up, yeah. black, everybody had a park. You understand? Yeah, I remember So the, the Italian parks. guys had park, uh, Tufts Park. The Irish guys had North Park. Um, um, then there was... Uh, the black the guys black, had Cool Park. No, they had... Uh, <laughs> they had Duggar Park. Oh, okay. They were at Duggar Park. Mm -hmm. Um... And then the uh, the uh, sounds like the shittiest of the parks. Yeah, it does. For <laughs> it was uh, it was uh, it was the black part of town. Yeah. And then you know had basketball hoops. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no nets. No nets. No nets. But uh, yeah, we never really fucked with uh, the black dudes. I mm. fought a black guy. I remember the first time I, I used to talk to Patrice about this. I uh, the first black guy I fought was his name was uh, fuck I forget his name. It was this thin black dude, and he was a cool kid. But we got into a fight one day. I, might have been my fault. I might have said something to him, and we fought, and he wouldn't go down. Oh, I thought I thought black people had different skin, because I kept hitting him, and he kept getting back up and fighting and punching me. 
Yeah. And we had to come to a draw because he would not fucking give. And you were bigger than him or no? I wasn't. I was, I was big. He was thin and lanky. Mm -hmm. But this motherfucker. Could take just a hit. Take a hit and give a hit because he yeah. was hitting me pretty good. At, it started flipping. There was a point where I was like, I'm, I'm getting tired and he's going to fucking outlast me. So it was, we just became friends after that. But I remember I was like, black, I went home. I was like, black people have different skin because I hit him with everything I had. And usually that worked. And it didn't work with this motherfucker. No, no. Wow. Yeah. That was the only black guy I've ever fought in my life. Mm. And we became friends after that. And then I dated Jeannie McKay, my first black girl. <sighs> she was smoking. Glasses, nerdy chick with a little pom-pom on top. She had a big high ass because she was uh, looked like a runner, like a fucking Tootsie tribe. Mm. Um, <laughs> I, I fought once. Who'd you fight? <laughs> I, I fought. What the fuck was that? <laughs> no, he just looked like he couldn't believe it. Well, I can believe it. I fought. Fuck. I fought in uh, June, ninth grade. Yeah. I picked a fight with the girl. I tell it in my act, but I I actually do it different than it actually happened. Yeah. I started it because it was such a tough school, and I wanted to prove that I was I could fight. So I I uh, I picked this girl. She was really unattractive, and she was very like nerdy. She looked scared. Oh, you're so just a bully. I picked her. And she wasn't. And she, but she, she knocked me the fuck. Like it was. She like, knocked you out. She knocked me out. Like oh. it was like I went after her, and I think I knew the thing was to say was you know you finna do something. Like I would kind of push her to start it. Did you get no. ghetto? I did. I tried. I wasn't like out. And then she just. <laughs> I'll be you her. Out. You be you. Right. Well, first I had my T-shirt over my head. I didn't have titties at the time. That's a nice T-shirt. So I had like I a white. You know how the guys used to do that with their yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. I had that, and I All was. Right, I'll be her. You be you. Ready? I was like, "What you say about me? I, I know you said something. I didn't say anything. No, what you say? Huh? I didn't understand. Come at me. What did you say? You finna, you finna, you I, finna do this? I don't understand. You finna, you wanna, you wanna finna fight? Do, finna do you this? Finna, <laughs> I don't know what, what you finna do. I don't know to finna do. Come at me. I don't wanna come at anybody. I said, you know what? What? I'm gonna knock you out. Oh, really? And that was it. Funk. <laughs> <laughs> I went flying. <laughs> I woke up with a dent in your afro and from lying on the I, I remember. I remember there was like scratch marks on my face, uh, and we were in the principal's office, and um, we were, became friends there. And I said, you know, it was it's just, weird, right? It's you business. Friends, yeah. It's like yeah, it's, it's just business. business. <laughs> you had to do this, you, to, you know, kind of prove. Prime what was the last fight you got into? Um, I was in college. And uh, <clears throat> I was in college, and somebody called my girlfriend fat at a bar. I, I was gone. I was taking my sister home, and then uh -huh. I came back, and she was crying. My best friend was with her, and she was crying. Was she fat? No. Oh. And uh, But she was crying, and I was like, what happened? He's like, some of these guys. And then my buddy started jawing with them, and then we got thrown out. Okay. So then I did you told fat, my buddy to did leave. Did your fat girlfriend come with you? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to fight you right now. It's not your girlfriend right now, right? <laughs> No, it's not okay, good fucker. <laughs> so then uh, I, uh, <laughs> girlfriend just no, eating no, caramels I, in the corner. My buddy, I told my buddy to leave. I didn't want him to get into. A, <laughs> to they called me fat. <laughs> I didn't want my buddy to get into. Your ice cream sandwich. <laughs> she just fucking showed a fucking large cheese. She wasn't some, fat. She wasn't fat. <laughs> not to but, you. <laughs> but you know, you don't think you're fat. Any any girl that you was she get, stocky? No, she field wasn't hockey? stocky. A little field thick. hockey. Not at all. But you can't call any girl. <laughs> Mike's getting mad again. I'm getting mad because you're not let me tell the story. I right, finish sorry. the story. I'm sorry. Well, go was ahead. she just at least a little thick? <laughs> she wasn't thick. She was fat. Go ahead. Okay. Pretty girl. She was right, a pretty, pretty girl. I wonder where I came Tell the story. Go ahead. Why you guys are doing? All right. So, <laughs> my buddy, I we get kicked out. I tell my buddy to go home because I don't want him. There's a lot of them, and I don't want him to get. A lot it's of my fun. problem. Right. So, I he goes home. I take her home right. to my house. Feed her. Dr <laughs> <laughs> I know. Come on, father. <laughs> Mom, ahead, I'm not my, mm, baby, I'm so hungry. Baby, but, I, mm. baby, I put your cereal ball on the floor next to the fridge. It's full of Captain Crunch. Thank you, baby. Mm. Uh, and when you're done with that, I left donuts on the counter. Okay. I'll be right back. Go ahead. I take her back. Yeah. I leave her at the house, and then I drive back. Right. And I cut the lights. And I just wait for the guys to come out because right. I'm like I'm gonna take a beating probably. Right. Yeah. yeah. So if I, I don't want her to see it, I don't want right. my friend to see it. I'll right. just take the beating. Uh huh. And uh, I cut the lights, and I waited for them. 
And, what and then as soon as they came out, I just attacked them. Who'd you Hold hit first? Them? Just the, the guy that she, because I, I was walking her through the bar. I was like, point them out. Right. So she did. She's like, I, I, she was in tears. Like she was barely like, she's right. like, I think it was them. And so I'm like, okay. So then boom, came back and I just cut the light and I waited and then I attacked them. Jeez, and I happens. thought I was going to take one because everybody came to the front of the bar yep. and, uh, so they didn't do anything. No, I was getting, a, I was, I was getting the best of both these because one guy was mm. trying to hold me. I was like punching the That's other right, guy. You were a wrestler. Then, yeah. So I was yeah. going at it pretty good. Everybody came to the front of the bar and I'm like, here it comes. Yeah. And they were like. They were just like trying to calm me down, so I'm like, right. oh, I thought they, were, I thought this was going to be it. Yeah, I yeah. thought I was getting my face kicked in. Right. So right. I, I held my own, and then I heard sirens, and then I ran. Right. Was that that car. was an ambulance going to your house because your when chick you, had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> when you got, I just imagine you getting arrested, and your girlfriend shows up and is like, I want my son, Gilbert. You know. <laughs> So that was it. You went home, and then you're you went, one of those silent guys who can like kick people's ass. I, I I don't think I can. Mike I'm not, doesn't usually fight. No, I, I would. Mike actually stop yeah. me. No, Here's I, how I yeah, fight Mike. I'm not yeah. I find a pipe. Yeah. I find a pipe. I I hide it around a corner near me, and then he comes up and goes, "Hey, what the fuck?" And I go, "Mike, I'm so sorry." I, I bow my head too, like yeah. like an Omega male. I go, "No, look at Mike. I, I don't want any trouble. You're a good guy. I've had you on my show. I think yeah. you. So whatever it is, I'm sorry." And he goes, "All right, motherfucker," and he walks away. And as soon as he turns, you hear king. <laughs> you hear just a king yeah. as I fucking smack the base yeah. of his skull. And I'm then, not a fighter at all. I think though. you're, I'm not a but I think I'm very I'm, capable of getting my ass kicked. Because for way. some reason, comics always talk about like who's the toughest guy, and you're usually in the top five. As far oh, as Dante, no, I disagree Dante with that. Dante is yeah. definitely Dante is a top. Dante, Dante's, Dante's top. one carrot top. Well, he's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dante also talks about separating the moment between fear and and fighting someone, and that's why he learned. Yeah, that's yeah. why he does that because he wanted to get rid of that moment. W that pause when you think yeah. about hitting someone, yeah. and that he just wants to go right to it. Oh, there's Dante? no hesitation. Yeah, yeah he not anymore. <laughs> there's no. Well, uh -huh. yeah, he's yeah. got uh, some recovery to do. Right. Yeah, fatso, a little f skinny fat, whatever he is, black, po whatever the fuck he is, <laughs> fucking islander. <laughs> we <laughs> we <don't> fucking <laughs> four rib quads. He's the. Yeah, he does have that like weird water world jewelry, it's like the bad <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's always like this weird earring. You're well, it's like, funny. Gonna murder he was me. on that show. He's yeah, I, 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 Bobby, I ripped four quads. I have eight. I'm, a, I'm missing oh, two Jesus. on each side. And then I'm going, how did you do that? I don't know. I look in his fucking Twitter. He, if you look in his yeah. Twitter, he's fucking squatting seven seven hundred uh, pounds. Seven uh, plates. Plates on each yeah. side. On each side. Yeah. I've been with him when he's That's why yeah. you have no quads, you fucking yeah. idiot. You're in a basement in the ghetto. Fucking trying to impress some used, asshole with tear tattoos. Yeah. Huh? yeah, he used yeah. to like yeah. bare knuckle fight. Yeah, there's a lot of guys guy. I think who were tough. Gary yeah. Goldman, I think, would be very tough to do. Yeah, he'd be he'd be tough. Very he's big. Yeah, big guy. Very uh Gary Veter. Lenny Marcus. Yeah. Lenny Marcus would be I think Soder. I think Soder would be a tough wow. guy. No, Fuck you could be that. Soder for sure, yeah. Soder talks oh, about yeah. not even I think Soder catches you with a couple of those right hands. You're, Soda, you're let me in, tell you something. A bad problem. No way. No, Dove Davidoff, yes. Oh, Dove. Dove yeah. Well, Dove. Dove can throw his hands. Yeah, Dove. Dove's dead. Let me tell you something. Soda would fucking do some weird grabbing thing and then throw a punch. You hit Soda with one nice fucking solid right, right on that flat chin of his. <laughs> He's out. He's done. He like. He, plus, he he's a good. This is why Soda can't fight. He's a good person. As soon as he hits somebody, he's either gonna feel bad, or he's gonna get hit himself. Real I think. Bad. I think that's wrong. I think Soda has another gear. I think he has a gear, and I think if he, and he, I think he's a pretty powerful guy. And if he makes contact with you with one of those long overhand yeah. have defensive you seen, end have right you seen, hands, have you seen his fucking little fists? Yeah, Don has bigger fists than Dan Soda. Okay, <laughs> he should get his nails painted. <laughs> I said it. All right, uh, him and Derosa no. could point for a living. How about Louis J. Gomez? I mean, he could Louis definitely, J. Gomez could definitely beat Derosa. Huh? That's for sure. Gomez. Oh yeah, Gomez, Gomez would be tough. Gomez, would be Gomez tough. is a problem. Yeah, yeah he's got all that kid rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus, he's got career rage. <laughs> Seeing all his friends <laughs> pass him. <laughs> oh, he's got fucking yeah. Bob Kelly rage from I feel fucking like... pissing me off and me fucking shunning him from my life. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, man? You were my meal ticket. Now I have to hope Fat Jay makes it. <laughs> 
Uh, Greg Warren. Yeah, I always thought you and Greg Warren have that Warren silent. I was just with Warren all weekend at this tournament. He's the one who got me into the tournament. He's an yeah. All-American. Yeah, he's he is. Yeah. He knew he's that tough, Fox yeah. catcher guy he was telling Yeah, he's a beast. Hey, what, what, and he what, downplays it so much because he's such a good dude. But yeah. he's a, he was. You don't get seventh in the country. From being he was seventh like in the country. Seventh in the country. He didn't tell. Wow, that yeah. guy's in amazing. this country. Unreal. In the U.S. Okay, then yeah. That Unreal. <laughs> hey, when was the last fight you got into, Jesus? Jesus. I mean, I got jacked up on the street, but that wasn't like a fight. It was just me and Neil Stasny got punched in the face. When? And then, this was like years ago in Bushwick. We got punched in the face. It was like it was like pathetic. Like, all of a sudden, me and him were talking. I just see this huge fucking black fist deck him in the face. Glass. Why is go he gotta off. be black? He falls up. I was just trying to story because I'm racist. Uh, but he <laughs> falls down and like I turn to this guy and I just go. He just side eyed me. Like, it was so surreal. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it just came out and I turn to this guy and I go, "Hey man, what the fuck?" Is and then he like, said? "Yeah, deck that, that me." That deserved another one. Yeah, they it? just decked me in the face. It didn't hurt, but then I just saw a car with all his friends oh. like motion, like with oh. two fingers, and I was like. Well, we're not fighting right now, you know what I mean? Because it was obviously a fucking gang initiation, you know? So, th this so that was, was, this that was just to hit you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You are part of something. They did like, uh, yeah, he did like a symbol to him, and then he did, and then he just walked off. And that was it. I was that, a sucker can I say like something? Not even a fight, that fucking, that sucker punch shit that they do. Yeah. How's this gang, people? Why don't yeah. you punch each other? Why don't right. you do it like old school? Do a fucking a wall of death and go through, whatever the fuck yeah. they call it. You're going to go up to some random fucking dude... Some guy right. walking home yeah. with headphones on and knock him the fuck out. Yeah, that's nothing. Uh, yeah, oh, it's just, fucking, it's really there's nothing pussy. more. That's pussy shit right there. You, 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 you're saying that somehow you desensitized. Yeah. Uh, you have no empathy for human beings, but you're really just a fucking coward. Are you saying, that's it? That's what? Are you saying gang members aren't good people? I'm saying. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, is if you want to be a badass, why don't you fight each other? Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. the biggest motherfucker well, out of your gang. They do. How do you know? Because they you ever see the gang fights? They have to jump into a gang, like six versus one or something like that, yeah. for a minute. Yeah, but this fucking, this little new thing they've added, hit the guy with the beard who likes right. records. Right. Or the old lady. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, old lady punch. walking down the street. Ugh, yeah. oh, when they hit the old yeah. lady? Oh, that's yeah, yeah. The that's the shitty, that's yeah. shitty But isn't people. that like, that's like uh, or the grossly baby, exaggerated. Yeah, yeah but too, you can right? defend yourself a little bit. Only you can't defend themselves. A very little bit, but yeah. you can... <laughs> I would. I tell you what, if it was me and her, I would just trip her so they went after her and run away. Just do something like that. You would trip I guess the that other. was a failed bit. I'm not really sure what that was. <laughs> I think that, I'm definitely I'm a failed. Like, yeah, I'm going to take that. Um, what do we you got in the chat room? Though. Anything? That's what's great about you. <laughs> what do we got in the chat room? You did <laughs> some work. You did <laughs> try. <laughs> Really That's separate. what's really What happened good. to your microphone? You unplugged your mic yeah. there, Sally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need that. <laughs> Plug what do we got? It in, plug it in. Derek Gatto says that poor girl having to eat Bobby's ass. It's like licking a sewer uh, grater. Is there anything <laughs> up to date? That's like nine hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just breaking yeah. the mics here. What's, well, what's honestly, recent? you go uh, to my chat. Well, they're talking the about most? they're talking about how you uh, have shunned Lewis, or they think you've shunned Lewis from the podcast. Right. They're, under, they're wondering what that's about. Lewis is in the chat room. They're talking to him. It's a whole thing. Wow. So. Yeah. Well. I have. He's on 900 podcasts. Is Lewis shunned? Yeah. No, he's not shunned. No, they think he's shunned, so they're trying to start. Lewis something. asked no. yeah. me to review his podcast. He asked me to give it <laughs> stars before oh I had God. even listened to it. He said, and then go on and yeah. say that it's. Oh, I think about like a formal written review. On, Lewis, on iTunes, he says, Lewis, just just do it, do Lewis, it now. He took my iPhone the other day and just. I was like, what are you doing? He said, I'm do something, and he just he reviewed his own show, and he fucking reviewed it on my phone. Lewis wants to be famous badly. Well, then I said will, it. I, guess. Yeah. I said it. Fuck you. I said it. <laughs> Anybody who grabs somebody's phone I don't and even... bullies a five star out of them, and she's a woman. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't even listen, but I haven't who listened fuck... to your show. Who fucking makes a woman fucking five star review? He told me there. He goes, it's just a test. I got to figure out if this is actually what bumps us up in top podcasts. I was like, being good, I thought helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being patient, uh, being good, getting. Yeah. I didn't even know that that was what was. What how many mattered. podcast? How many shows does he have? I have no clue. But What's he get? The, the real ass, real ass dude. Agent, hammer yeah. fisting. And is there another one? He's got hammer. No. He's got What's hammer fisting. Real, real ass is a podcast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> got so many? He's got like three. Why That's do you have that much why? material? I don't Fill think that he, time. I don't know. I don't know. Miranda, is it true that you only gave the podcast three stars? That's what Lewis is saying. I deleted it, too. 
the review? I gave it. I gave it four. <laughs> I didn't give it three. I gave it four out of five, yeah. and he was upset about that. And I was like, I gave it four because I haven't listened to it. I just gave you four. He got mad at me. He's like, you fucking gave me four? <laughs> and then I, I was like, um, I think I said something like, I can't wait to meet these guys or something like that. But I would like to listen to it first sure, before yeah. actually, you know, rating a podcast. Lewis, I, you know I adore you. Everybody, everybody loves Lewis. Stop forcing the stars on me. <laughs> stop it. Forcing oh. the stars to be a star. What else we got in the chat besides fucking Lewis Gomez? <laughs> fucking uh. Gomites. Why is Lewis not on the show? <laughs> why is he? Why? He needs a fourth podcast. It's it's he, needs, like, he needs more shows. It's him trying to do different voices, but it I still sounds he, like. <laughs> <laughs> like got hey, that I'm Carol. Fan of Lewis. <laughs> Gomites unite. <laughs> you see his Instagram, there's fucking 12 likes. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, when you shared your story, uh, Stephen yeah. Gonzalez said, Powerful words by Robert Kelly. Thank you for sharing. You got it, buddy. So there you go. Nice little positive input from That's the That's some nice That's stuff, good. Deepu. Yeah. I'm filtering, yeah. bro. Well, filter. What, That's what, what I'm doing. What's the mean thing that was said? Uh, Bobby's fat. But <laughs> not the obvious <laughs> thing. Is there anything better than that, you ah, fucking a... thin Indian? Uh, no, I have nothing prepared that's negative right now. I'm sorry. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, well, listen, guys. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. Um, I will that, say this. That's so. just, <laughs> what's that? That, oh, that, that's Apparently she what doesn't you know told us. <laughs> 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 what you told us, Robert, yes. is like, I, I haven't gone to therapy in about a month. Because I don't really pay her the way I'm supposed to. Are you so, on a tangent right now? <laughs> <laughs> you can always tell somebody who has their own podcast when they're on my show. They, I say, all right, we'll wrap it up. You know, let me just say this. Let me take the reins for five seconds. <laughs> no, but it just makes me want to. I have to go back. It was so, it really touched really, me. It was really, yeah. And then I got uncomfortable that I was getting touched. So I'm like, let's just go to a bit. I was I, uncomfortable I that feel. Dan, saying, that he was, I felt that he was getting touched. And I was like, I don't think he goes through this very often. Awesome. Yeah, this is just, it was, was like, really too much for me. <laughs> I go through it a lot, but yeah. Uh, All right, now it's just, uh, is there a sad yeah. one? <laughs> like, whenever you had like a sad real moment, like you're not trying for a bit, you're just trying to have a moment. All right, well, listen, man. La, 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 la. <laughs> I want to go to this doctor. I want whatever this nose spray is, I want some. Yeah. Oh, it was good right. stuff. What the f Fuck. <laughs> I can't stop looking at your fucking two titties now. I've never seen you with titties. I've never looked at your titties ever. I know. They look great, right? Yeah, they look good now. <laughs> <laughs> Intimacy. All right. We're going to end the show. I think she's literally unraveling. Make sure you check out uh, Lewis's three other shows. <laughs> Hammer me now. No, that's not. <laughs> 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 that's, yeah, like he that should one, combine huh? all three of them and call it that <laughs> hammer me now <laughs> dude uh what do you got mike what do you got coming up um i just uh, i plug my dates yeah, yeah. i know do it again um i'm sorry I don't you know. just go to your website what's your website yeah, mikevecchione.com and follow me on twitter at comic mike v that's mike. most important at comic mike v mike v you're always a fucking rock star on the show dude thanks, thanks for uh, coming thanks for on, brother. you got it man what do you got, Mr. St. James? Same thing, DanStJermaine.net, all my, all my sites and my album, and then all my sites, Jesus Christ, uh, all my dates and my album you can get, <laughs> and I have a podcast, My Dumb Friends, Twitter's DS Jermaine. That's great. Now, where do you do your show? Sean Donnelly's Kitchen. We'd love to have you on. Marina's on tomorrow. Oh, no. Sean Donnelly's right tomorrow? The, the oh, no, Thursday. Irish guy. Yeah. I love Sean, dude. Yeah, Sean yeah, is uh, the he's at the Soul World. do I love that Yeah, kid. he's great. We'd love I, to have you on. He's I will. Host. Where, where is it? In Brooklyn? It's in Williamsburg, yeah. I will definitely come out and do that. That'd let's, be great. Let's do that. And then when you do it on... Uh, we're just doing Thursday because I live in L.A., so we do, like, whenever. I, I'll be back in June, so if you can't do it tomorrow, we can do it in June or whatever. You yeah, know? I can't do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But let's well, we do, it do it in June. June. Yeah. Or we can come to you, too. So Yeah, come here. We'll do it here. It's the most illogical thing because our producer's in Massachusetts. He's in New York, and I'm in California, so it's, like, the worst. All right, what are you going to do? Them. Technology, man. Yeah, technology. Um, titties. I mean, uh, Marina, what do you got, Bubba? That's fine. You can call me titties if you want to. What the fuck accent is that? Hey, Robert. Is that like half? Don't forget I have that rub for you. Uh, it's a, will you please finish this? It's a fucking ru a barbecue rub. Yes, it is. My, yes, uh, from yes, where? Simply Marvelous. My, uh, uh, my cousin, Stefan. Yeah. yeah, no, Simply Marvelous in, out of Santa Barbara, California. Right. Best rub. Actually, has been reviewed on YouTubes. Uh, he's got a pecan. Both of them? What? Both YouTubes? 
<laughs> the fuck is YouTube? That's how old. On the YouTubes. So you told that white girl, yo, bitch, I'm going to get you on the YouTube. But I, I brought you a special rub because really? you've helped me so much with my podcast, Friends Like Us. Yeah. And um, if you want to check me out, marinafranklin.com. <laughs> I fucking love you. I'm, I'm glad that you made it to the show today. Thank you, Robert. I was going to tell you to beat it. Uh-huh. But Deepu was like, no. No, I was I'll tell so you, can I say something? much like. Deepu, I was like, you know what? Fuck her. And did you? Yeah, a little bit. But I, you, you didn't like, relay the information. I relayed all the I, information. I, I said to you, what did I say? What did you say? What did you say? I kept, I said, he's young. He probably is not relaying this to Robert well, what's correctly. The information? I should call Robert there myself. There is some, you should. Why? Because I was like, I, he's not doing this right. But, uh, I said, I know how serious Robert is about time. It's very important that you tell him I have a doctor's appointment. He, he told me, he didn't say. I cannot receive. I said, that you have a doctor's, part, doctor's but appointment. But you didn't say that first part, which changes the whole fucking dynamic. Yes. And I said, I, I know said, how, I know he, how is. he is about time. She's actually yeah. acknowledged. Yeah, you fucking. That, Scorpio, you, you have no common sense. And I said, I bet he. That's, not that's a this big. Correctly. That's a big part. I did say she wanted to be here, no, though. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. That's different. From yes, I did. I know how Robert is about trying, time. She's very different. Anyways, she's having a Deepu, uh, enough, enough. Yeah. My fucking craziness. Young, it's okay. How Deepu, old are you? shut. Hey, how old are you? hey, friends like us. <laughs> <laughs> Deepu, <laughs> Deepu <laughs> was like, you, you. I was like, eh, yeah, I just tell her to come next week. He was like, no, you should have her on if she can make the second hour. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, yeah she's a great guest. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. thank you. Right? I, not even a but sexual right. thing. Not even a but you're right. You're yeah. right. Thank you. I am right. Yes. He likes well, we you. can make it sexual. But I, oh, oh, look, right. she's, if you fuck Deepu, I need We're going to go have some nine. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad you I'm glad you came Thank on. You, I love you, Robert. Robert. Thank you, Dan. I love you, Robert. Thank you, Dan. I want that to be the last I thing. I love you, too, Deepu. <laughs> Um, all right, go check out robertkellylive.com for all my dates. I'm going to be where? Nice yeah, talking to you. We do you there, right? Do we? No, we didn't. Um, I'm going to be in Albany yeah, this weekend. You're going to be April 18th, Cove Haven Resort in Lakeville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's a Ooh. sexy couples resort. So no, maybe really? you and Deepu can go up there. Ooh. What else? Uh, May 14th, 15th, 16th, Laugh Boston. That's the that's the show, Boston fans. Spread the word. Get your friends yeah. involved in that. After Bobby Kelly's show sell, sells out, please come to my show. You know, it, I'll tell you this. Who? Um, John Oliver, right? Yeah. So me and Lenny Marcus today. We're having lunch up, up before I go to therapy. I love Lenny Marcus. I call him up. I'm going to be in your neighborhood. Meet me over there. He meets me over at the diner. We're talking. All of a sudden, John Oliver walks in. And I'm like, oh, shit. I go, he's not going to know either one of us. And he walks in, and he sits down with whoever he's with, and they eat, and, and then uh, we're eating, we're fucking laughing, we do whatever. And he's walking out, and I, I look over, and he's there, and he goes, hey, how you doing, Bobby? Nice to meet nice to see you. He's like classiest guy oh, ever. He is so sweet. The nice, yeah. I was like, this, what, this is why I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> that is like, a, he knows, he literally says, hey, Bobby, nice to see you. Like, he yeah. know, not, not to, you know. In your head. And I go, like, well, I go, hey, man, you too, man, great. Thanks, John. And then he's leaving. I go, you doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny just puts his head down. <laughs> I fucking suck at fucking. That's sweet, though. Uh, it's not That's sweet. Priceless. You're doing a great job. No shit. <laughs> it's very you didn't say at what, though. I you think just said you're doing a great job. He's still vulnerable. I go, you you're doing a there. great job. I suck. <laughs> the other day, I'm on Cowhead. Um, Corolla calls in. I don't say a word. And at the end, he's like, all right, I'll talk to you later. Uh, and he, I go, hi, Adam. It's Robert Kelly. <laughs> Just like that. And he goes, uh, hello? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, um, <laughs> then what? You want to take over again? Go ahead. It's hard to be real nice sometimes. But that was like vulnerable. You were like throwing it out there. I was shocked that he knew who I was, and I was very pleasant. I was he's pleasantly. So, uh, yeah, he's so nice, that guy. Pleasantly surprised, you know, and then for him to say that, that's very nice. Right. And then for me to go, you're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you can almost see the words <laughs> oh, like, in the great. air. It's so funny <laughs> that that never ends. It's, you know, because I think my first interaction with you, I felt the same thing. I was like, hey, funny. And then I like walked away. <laughs> you know, it never ends, I guess. It's the worst. I told Louie that I imagine his pubic hair. That was my right, interaction. Uh, we're going to end the show. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to tell him that it, yep. the scene, like... Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> you guys are the best fans in the fucking world. Thanks for checking out uh, my show, listening every week. You guys have been showing up at my shows, coming up to me, letting me know that you listen to the show. 
that means the world to me. We do this, all this stuff for you guys so that you can come see what we really do, which is stand-up comedy. And you guys have been showing the fuck up every weekend, buying tickets, bringing friends, and selling these shows uh, out, which is great for me. I can't thank you enough for uh, l downloading the show, listening to it, and spreading the word. You guys are amazing. I'm not going to force you when I see you. Grab your phone and give me a five-star review on iTunes. <laughs> but if you'd like to go and subscribe and review, that would be magnificent. Uh, I am going to force you to go buy my special at robertkellylive.com, $5 donation. Robert Kelly Live from the Village Underground. Tell everybody about that. Spread the word about that. Put it on Twitter. Get the word out there. Uh, help your pal out. And uh, make sure you check out everybody, all these comics uh, that have been on my show, the regulars, Dan, Joe, Lewis, um, and then all these guys today uh, that have been on the show. Go to their shows live and tell them you, you're there because you heard them on this show. Let them know, uh, you know, the YKW fucking dude podcast. Let them know that you, uh, whatever, I'm rambling now. You guys are the best. Out. You know what, dude? <laughs> You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty, shitty jobs. Check out riotcast.com for all of the best podcasts on the internet. And they're all free. And they're all free.